so this is a tier list of the best console exclusive Switch games. Um, we decided to go for like all the, or most of the games that have a physical release. There are definitely some games that aren't on here, but like these are all the major releases. Um, we didn't do like fully digital games because there's like so much garbage that we'd have to sort through. Ugh, ain't that the truth? Yeah, <laughs> but I think we've like got all of like the most popular major releases on here. If we forgot um, any, don't sue us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, we have a list or we have a tier for the games we haven't played. So if we put a game in that list, nobody in this call has played it. So leave a comment if you have played it and recommend it. Um, yeah, so I think we're ready to go. So first up, All right. everybody give a round of applause for Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Bob. Yeah. yeah. Bob. <laughs> Animal Crossing. Yeah, let's honestly. Yeah, let, yeah let, let's put Animal Crossing on there. Um, oh, I, I agree. Animal Crossing, good. I didn't realize a, it was deep posing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I downloaded the model last night. That's the new leaf model. And I was just messing yeah. around with it in Photoshop. Good. I didn't do anything to it. I just uploaded the T posing PNG. Very but, good. It's yeah. wor it works. It's good. Yeah, Animal yeah. Crossing was like one of the games I was looking forward to the most. Oh, same. Like, absolutely. I, like, we freaked out when it got announced. We absolutely mm -hmm. lost it. Oh, yeah. Um, and I definitely think it's missing some features compared to like older Animal Crossing games, but I think. Yeah. We're, we're going to like look back at the game a year from now, and so much is gonna be different um oh yeah i, I, mean, I feel like they're gonna keep adding stuff, stuff so. yeah yeah you do have more play time than any of the other four of us combined so yeah i'm at like 500 That's hours true, pretty yeah. much Jeez. so but yeah, yeah it's a really I'm good game 500. i don't have 500 yeah. <laughs> in any game so yeah animal crossing fantastic and it's only gonna get better five oh, out yeah. of five mm -hmm. stars would recommend one two yeah. switch i haven't played I have, I have not, not played, played this either. Have any of us played I've it? seen it played. You have? <laughs> that's one that's one step better than me. I don't know and, anybody who owns it. And this was a launch title too. This was like it was. Yeah. a big yeah, deal. Was. Yeah, but it was also launched with Breath of the Wild, so think about it. Yeah, I also remember like people saying it was overpriced and like just not worth buying. It got really? massively overshadowed it, by everything else that came out at launch. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Was ARMS released at the same time? No, ARMS, Arms was like came that out like June. a couple months after. Yeah. Alright. We haven't played. Even if we know it's bad, we haven't played it. Yeah. <laughs> the only one that's come close is Spencer in well. Yeah, okay, I watch so... a lot of gameplay videos, so I, yeah, I, I've also I'm seen very familiar with videos. a lot of these games, but I haven't mm -hmm. played a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. Alright, ARMS. Fair, I like show? ARMS. I, I think it's worth playing. It's hard um... to play for an extended period of time, but I've played it and I had fun. I'd say it's worth a shot. Yeah, I think I own it. I didn't play it a ton, but I had a little bit of fun with it, I guess. Yeah, it's definitely I mean, not it's... for everybody. It's definitely not no, for everybody. I no, I was like, there's a lot to it, and there's not a whole lot of characters. Mm. Yeah, I, if, I would kind of wish there was more characters in there. Yeah. You know, I feel like so the fu the funny thing about it is that it's like okay, so you look at a game like uh, let's say like Ring Fit, right? Mm -hmm. You would think out of the two, so out of the two games, Ring Fit Adventure and Arms, which would you expect to have more content? That's a I hate that point that you're making. Because it's <laughs> ARMS has so little content. Yeah, yeah. it's got like it's, a little multiplayer sad. versus mode, and then like dueling, and then a small campaign, which is just a bunch of normal fights. Yeah, yeah. and I feel like ARMS didn't have the complexity to get me hooked to it. The, the like, combat it was pretty, is... pretty simple. It was it's fun. It's a fun party but... game. Though. I had a good time. Yeah, I, I, it's definitely more of a party game, I think, than like a competitive game. Wait, did we yeah. forget Based Super on what Mario played. Party? Did we forget about No, Super Super no, Mario Party's there. in here. Okay. Yeah, it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, bottom left. All right. Yeah, speaking of right. lacking content. Um. Yeah, we, 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 we put 
that one in. We'll get to that. We'll, we'll, get, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get to that. Scary. We'll get to that. I think I think Arms Absolutely. is definitely worth a shot. I feel like whatever they do with like Arms two, because I definitely think Arms two is gonna happen at some point. It's gonna be so much better. I, I remember yeah, J. I, I don't know if you guys know the Nintendo rep J. C. He was yeah. pushing this game like no other. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> it's fun. General. It's fun. It I mean, just it cool. just didn't hook me. Astral Chain. Yeah. Anyone here have... played Axel Chain? No, nope. I have. No, but I However, really want it. However, it looks cool. I want to play it. I've heard it's kind of mediocre. I mean, it's anime about... cops. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Anime cops. So on one hand, anime cops. On the other hand, anime cops. Yeah, you got me there, but I haven't played it. None of about... us have played it, so it kind of has a default. It has to be. But we can still yeah. talk about it. Yeah, we can we talk, can talk about, about it. It's just that it's like we we cannot officially rank it. Yeah. I I would from from what I've heard, it if I if I were to play it and be as critical as other people, uh, then it would probably be either in worth a shot or highly recommended. Okay. It was a pretty big deal. Platinum worked on it for a while. Yeah, it looks like a quality game. I mean, it looks really nice. Anyway, Bayonetta. Have not played Bayonetta. Is that Bayonetta 2? This is Bayonetta 2. Bayonetta 3 isn't out yet. But oh. I completely forgot they had re-released Bayonetta 2 on the Switch. Yeah. Oh. They bring at least both 1 and so, 2. I know still it's haven't favorite. played it. Has anyone played, played it? I haven't played it, but I hear nothing but good things about it. I hear nothing I, but I hear good. it's really good. It's almost really like, want to play it, even though we haven't bad. played it, there's enough consensus about it that we might as well put it in highly recommended. Like, I don't think we can. I, I think no. this we uh, have to. No, we have to stick to things that we've. Played. We have to have. Mm -hmm. We have to have a critical eye here. Yeah, and okay. we haven't played it. Doesn't mean like they're bad games. Like, no, if people no. watching this video have played these games, then definitely recommend them in the comments. Or not. Yeah. Or, or not. <laughs> it's like it's like or if not. you want if you want if you want that kind of thing. Like the consensus is that this game is good. Literally, just look at like Metacritic. Yeah. Yeah. This mm. is more of a, our opinions, I would say. <laughs> this is mm. more like some idiots on the internet decided to make a list. Yeah, in the yeah. first half, like, there's a lot of games I haven't played. But, like, going down the list, like, I've played a lot of those games, so. Alright. Um, yeah, Captain Toad, oh. I have not played. I haven't I hear played it's it really either. good. <laughs> huh. Anybody? I Going once. I would, I would give it worth a shot. I really like that game. You played it? Did you play it? Yes. I Ooh. have played. I have played two have versions of it. it. Okay. It's actually All right. okay. It is both. It is both extremely charming and actually like a fun puzzle game. It has. It. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It has like a lot more depth than you would expect. But it's literally like it's like. Uh, it, it's three they're three-dimensional like four-sided puzzles essentially yeah because yeah. it's like the whole perspective yeah. switching thing and it's like and you're literally like I, I love games where you like you have uh, a fully interactable environment which is kind of what that thing is like centered around it's like the environment is the puzzles and it feels yeah. like kind of those sliding block puzzles a lot of the time which is very fun mm -hmm. i really mm -hmm. like it a lot love I liked those levels a lot in, um, what was it, um, 3D Land? Was it 3D Land? No. Uh, World. 3D World. World, 3D mm -hmm. World. I really liked those levels in 3D World, so. Yeah, I did too. Um, I, I never got around to playing Captain so Toad. Really it's probably to gonna happen. It's That and Pikmin 3, like, it, I think oh it just God, yeah. No, that and Pikmin 4. Definitely. No, we're not going back Yeah, Pikmin 4 that has been in development for <laughs> five years, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Pikmin 4? Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. Um, but like some of these games have been released on other Nintendo consoles, but like as long as they're not on like PS4, or Xbox One, I think it's fair to include them. Um, yeah. Because like a lot of these games are on the Wii U as well, and not many people owned a Wii U. So. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, Cave right. Story Plus. I never um, played it. I know that this Cave is like Story's a remake. Though. Yeah, this is like a remake I of Cave played, Story. I have played the shit out of Cave Story. <laughs> Really? So where would you rank it? Okay, um, God, how do you even? Because Cave Story yeah. is like Cave. Okay, um, it's like the indie game, right? Like one yeah, of the first Cave... ones. So, yeah. I put Cave Story in highly recommended purely because that game's that game's gameplay is for what it is is amazing. I would say mm -hmm. like the two quintessential indie games in my opinion, like by like like the two the, there's like two primary genres of like indie games of that era. It's like you get roguelikes and you get uh, action platformers. This is a, this is 
peak action platformer indie game. Highly, mm. highly recommend it. When did the original come out? Like 2012? Yeah. I thought it was way before then. Yeah, I did uh, too. I feel like it was it's it was before then, yeah. Let me check. Okay. Cave Story. I, th I thought it was like Oh my god, 2000s. 2004. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I that, that seems more like I thought it was 2006, but yeah, that's I did not know cuz I only played it when it was on I only played it on Steam, so Wow. Yeah, yeah, and as far as I can tell, Cave Story Plus is a Switch console exclusive. Um, there are other versions of the game. No, it's on Steam. Well, like, yeah. Switch and Console, PC. yes. Console. Exclusive. Console, Console. Yeah. Console. Because some of these games are on PC, like Octopath, but Octopath is, like, pretty synonymous with the Switch. So I, I yeah. felt like it was pretty pretty fair to include that. Um, and that just meant we mm -hmm. had to include Cave Story as well, or Cave Story Plus specifically. Cave Story Wait. Plus is also on Linux. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought we had a... Okay, because now when I see what's next, I thought we had a malware tier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, None of us have played it. We haven't okay. played it. That's also true. That was like uh, a would, weird I would controversy. Put it in the meh if I did have it. I would what? I, I'd argue console defining <laughs> just because there's no other game like it. I mean... Like, it was released without yeah. permission, apparently. Like, there, there's yeah. never gonna be another game like <laughs> That is very true. No. Would you, no, would you okay. dare to put it in the same <laughs> tier as Bob? <laughs> Simulator? Having this conversation once again. Get your, copy, get your copies now before they're gone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently, there was gonna be a PS4 version, but as far as I can tell, they weren't authorized to actually make a PS4 version, and I don't think that's happening now. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they have a, they had a lot of issues with their um publisher, I believe. Yeah, and they're like Didn't, they've I been. I think they just released the game without permission. They were just like, ah, fuck it, put it out there. Yeah, it was either that or the publishers had arguments with the actual. Uh, it was the publishers and the, the developers. There, there's a lot like wrong each with other this game. A lot wrong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Also, yeah. it's like a uh, freaking social media Instagram influencer cooking mama, which is like Ugh. already awful. Ugh. Yeah, Ugh. no. The, the, like the, the actual title screen for it, it is literally like cooking mama with like the like rainbow rainbow grilled cheese thing with like the what? Which which was the, rainbow grilled cheese was a like uh it was like a trend thing a while back where you just like put. Yeah, you put you put uh, food coloring into grill into the cheese on a grilled cheese, and you what? open it up, and it looks like melted crayons. I hate that. So like uh, like unicorn poop kind of ice cream. That that whole trend, yeah. Okay, but that's different. I expect ice cream to kind of look weird. Why would yeah, you do that? Yeah, it's li it's genius. literally like it's 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 an, it's a game about it's normal cooking mama, but you also are an Instagram influencer. Uh, I don't like that. I hate it. I no. hate it. Which is, what the, the, so, like, the concept itself isn't great. <laughs> no, it's a terrible concept. Cooking Mama is not a bad game. No, no, it's not. Cooking bad Mama, idea. the Instagram influencer, is a bad <laughs> game. <laughs> it's All a right. bad idea. Damon right. X Machina, has anyone played it? I played the demo. I played the demo. I played, I played the demo. Um, I don't okay, think are we allowed, allowed to base off, off the demo? demo? I don't think so. I played the first demo, and yeah, the they had fixed stuff after that. Wait. Uh, so I, I don't think it's fair to base my opinion off the first demo. Um, oh, yeah. no. They did fix a lot of stuff with the demo. They did fix a lot of it. But I never bought it. It didn't really catch my interest. Um, I basically no Xenoblade Chronicles X, but not Xenoblade. <laughs> it is. It is not. So it, it defaults to, <laughs> to here, but yeah, that's fair. Okay, Funky Kong. Is this Donkey Kong Country? Yeah. No, Funky Kong. Where <laughs> okay, good. It? New Funky mode. New um, funky. console defining. Yeah, console defining. Really? You, did you play? Um, I'd say highly recommended. I wouldn't say console. Uh, I. So funny story about this game. I have mm. not I have not played it, but I own it, but I will not for long because basic so my Nintendo uh, my Nintendo Switch account got um, broken into oh. by some dude oh. I believe in it was I think it was Brazil, but just straight up my console was logged m my account was logged into they bought um, 
So they bought King of Fighters, Mortal Kombat 11, Naruto Sh- Sh- oh, Road to Boruto, or whatever the fuck. And they bought those three games. So I'm like, okay, there's a trend here. Fighting games. And they also bought DK Tro- the new <laughs> DK Tropical Freeze. Aww. Which is like, it's like, okay, fighting game, anime fighting game, like, fighting game, DK Tropical Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. And w- I'm, sti- I'm still going through red tape to try and get my refund for that. But yeah. So I have I have very biased opinions on this game, and I will never probably play it. I've played the I put okay, so I don't have the Switch version, but I have the um, the Wii U version. version. And you played that? Yeah, yeah, I played that. Okay, um, okay hang on, I, I'm back. Why is there Donkey Kong? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze new funky mode. Uh-huh. Oh yes, of course, that's the thumbnail. <laughs> Yeah, this is the box that's, that's art. The one I, I got it from Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, straight from Wikipedia. Yes, yep. of course. Mm-hmm. The world's most reputable source. So, so I would say I would say that is definitely a highly recommended. Highly um, recommend. I've heard so many good things about I've it. I've only heard good things. I the music get in it. Game is very good. Oh, the music is amazing. Like I kind of want to get it, but I'm not really super huge in the 2D platformers. But I, I I'd say this is one games. that's worth investing in. It's kind of mm-hmm. like like I'm not big into two D platformers, but this one in particular like stood out. Isn't the Switch version like ten dollars more than the Wii U version? Really? Yeah. The uh, Wii U version was fifty dollars when it released, and the Switch version mm-hmm. is sixty. It, you, so dude, they charge you, got, they charge you 10, bucks 10 bucks for, for Funky Kong. Funky. Yeah. yeah. Ten dollars. <laughs> the ten dollars is for Funky. Isn't there Kong? also a three DS version? Uh, no, that no that's returns. for the original. We don't talk about that. I thought that was pretty good. We don't need it, though. We don't, it doesn't have funky. <laughs> brain training. Brain tra- oh, brain I haven't training. played it. Okay, the yeah, only no, thing I, I know about brain training is that if you bought it on like the Wii U eShop or whatever brain age that was, oh, yeah. you could like hack your Switch. Like oh there God, was some what? exploit that that's why it's like the top selling game on the Wii U eShop because oh, yeah. like people would use it to hack their switches. I mean their Wii U's. Holy like, shit! Like there, there is like an exploit. Maybe we do need a malware tier. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't this version it? of the game. It was like one of the older Brain Age games on the Wii U. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, that, that was that was one of the because I when I was doing um when I was doing uh. Smash Wii U mods and stuff. Yeah, I remember that that was an option. Yeah, like every week you look at the eShop charts and like Dr. Kawashima was like at the very top. <laughs> People are getting God. smart. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't think any of us have played that. No, I played one. I played one of demos on the DS when they the you know the Wii uh, Nintendo Channel thing, where, yeah. where like you could play yeah. demos of DS games. Mm-hmm. That was the only one I ever played. Huh. I had Big Brain Academy and Brain Age. Mm. I had the one for the DS. Well, not me. My mom had it, and she never played it. <laughs> also, we somehow ended up with two copies. I don't remember how that happened. Oh. They multiply. They Probably just the yeah, they like five just started to multiply, so we had to get rid of them before we got more. <laughs> Exponentially uh, growing problem. Fire Emblem Heroes. Heroes. <laughs> has oh, anybody has anybody played Three Houses besides me? I, I have, have played not. it, but I did not get very far. It was not my copy. So, Ryan, you played a little bit of it? I enjoyed what I played, but I've never really been into Fire Emblem. Mm. I'm really into this chili dog I'm eating, though. I like <laughs> Fire Emblem, but I never decided to actually like get Three Houses and play it. I don't mm. know. It didn't really grab my attention as much as some of the other older Fire Emblem games. Yeah, so I played Three Houses. I've only played the Golden Deer route. I'm gonna say it's just worth a shot. I wasn't really too huge I agree into with it. that. Um, I, I, I like the characters a lot. Uh, the story was pretty decent. I hated the monastery stuff. That completely kills the pace of the game. And I know you can skip a lot of it, but like I felt like I was missing out if I skipped it. Um, and that whole that whole process was just like the same thing like every single time just going through the motions it, it was just I, I the monastery stuff like killed it for me 
And the thing is, like, I like Fire Emblem. Um, I've only played the 3DS games aside from Three Houses, but I, I really liked Awakening. I have my yeah, gripes with Fates, but overall I had fun with it. And then Echoes is my favorite. Echoes um, was really good. Yeah, the thing about Echoes was, like, the map design wasn't great for the most part. Uh -huh. And I feel like the same yeah. thing kind of carries over into Three Houses, where there's, like, not a lot of maps, and the ones that they have aren't super great a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, so, so I don't know if they went directly off of it, but I mean, Sh uh, Echoes was Fire Emblem Two, and they didn't really have probably much of a design sense back that's, then. That's the thing, because yeah, it was a remake, it, so yeah. they kept all of the same maps. But this is yeah. a brand new Fire Emblem game, and none of the maps really like did anything for me. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, like, yeah. I love the characters. The music was pretty good for the most part. Um, it's just the the monastery, and like I like the battles too. The battles were fine. I played Radiant Dawn as a kid, and I liked it. Radiant Dawn is fun. I love Radiant Dawn. Um, I played uh, I just... Awakening and Sacred Stones. That was a good. Mm. But I gave like all my stat upgrades to Lysithia, and she just nuked everybody. So that was like Lysithia, best girl, ten out of ten. No, she just kills everything in one shot. That's fun. So, mm. but you can I've like bre you game. can break that game. You you can break that game with like warp. You can beat maps in like one turn. <laughs> it's really funny. Ow. I mean, that's kind of. I don't know. I think that's part of the fun of some Fire Emblem games is finding the best way to break the whole game. Yeah, but I definitely there's a lot of people that really really love Three Houses. It just didn't really oh, yeah. with me all that much. Yeah. Um, me like, too. I liked it enough, but. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I still need to play the other routes. Maybe I'll like them more, but like I feel like the same problems that I have are gonna like still be there in the different routes, you know? Mm-hmm. Like I don't think it was just a golden deer thing. Yeah, I, I feel that. But I know uh, that a lot of people really love it, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I 100 percent of this game. <laughs> what, Fire Emblem Warriors? Yes. Damn. Ooh, I've played this game too. I, I actually thought it was really good. I liked it a lot. I've never played it. It looked I don't know. Good. Looked good I don't though. know if I put it in highly recommended. Like I'm leaning more towards worth. I would shot. put. I would. Put, I would compared to compared to like Hyrule Warriors, which is like peak of the genre. Oh well, yes, I love Hyrule. Warriors. It's like a tier below. So I would say like you worth a shot. Like worth a shot. Yeah, and Hyrule yeah. Warriors is definitely in highly recommended. Oh, that yes. great. Mm -hmm. I played the 3DS version, but the Switch version is just like a combination of the Wii U and 3DS version, so it's like the definitive yeah. version. Yeah, I played, um, I played the Wii U version, it was awesome. Tingle. You don't get Tingle kind of sucks. <laughs> he does. I'm so, I'm sorry. He Young does. Link was busted. I, I, I've been meaning to get oh, the yeah. Switch version because I liked the 3DS version quite I, a bit. I, I put a lot of time into yeah, it. Yeah, me too. I, I, was, a, I was a Lana a fan. Like, I, I just loved her magic moves, especially the block. Yeah, and it, it start can, rolling on it. Compared to Fire Emblem Warriors, there's so much more variety with the characters in Hyrule Warriors, because, like, a lot yeah. of the characters in Fire Emblem Warriors were clones and have the same movesets. Oh, mm -hmm. And yeah. that's the main thing that bugged me. They were they're, they were mostly fun to play as, but, like... So it's just like Smash Bros. At least they're consistent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their combo routes were really the only parts where it, like, differentiated. Yeah, because like all the all of the archers played exactly the same, mm -hmm. um, and I know there's like more like minuscule differences with like the gameplay and systems in both games, but like Hyrule Warriors were just a lot better in my opinion. Yeah, more uh, I would say about a tier's worth of difference. Yeah, well, and, yeah. What's it? And like Hyrule Warriors got it pretty much right right out the gate in its first release. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It already knew. Come on, Nintendo! What are you doing? You, you know, you come on, Game got Dan, it. You get with it. Yeah, I, don't uh, think I cannot wait to scramble. Oh yeah, Persona Five Scramble looks really, really good. I played the Switch demo Ooh. and I had a lot of fun with it. Nice. All right, Katamari. Excellent. Um, Very fun game. Excellent. So yeah, Ryan's it. played it. I, I'd put it. In, this, is, this is like my favorite game of all time. Um, I, I definitely have... put it. I don't think it's console defining. No. Because it's like it's, it's a remake of a PS2 game. For sure. Yeah, it, it's my favorite yeah. game. It's definitely highly recommended. Uh -huh. It's just so unique and charming, and the music is oh, yeah. a, a oh, trip. The music is oh, legendary. It's so good. Wait, Riley, what was it that guy told us about Katamari Damacy? Oh yeah, so Katamari Damacy, fun, funny enough, 
Spencer and I, Spencer and I found this out when we, I think that was uh, wasn't that How's GB that? or was uh, that the Samurai Punk dude? I, I I thought it was at the uh, the the meetup. Regar Discord. Regardless, Anyways. yeah. So regardless, some game design dude told us that uh, Katamari Damacy, all of the, the reason that all of the assets look so simple and like low poly is because the game was developed as a way to teach uh, students how to 3D model. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, which, that's, which I think is I like such that. a neat and cute it's, concept. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Yeah, yeah. And and it ended and it ended up having a very, very unique style because of it's that. a very like artsy game. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's a nice artsy game. It also, oh, has yeah. a great sense of humor. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One of my and favorite visual fun. jokes. No, one of my yes. favorite visual gags in the game is that there's three people lined up um, in front of photocopiers. And one of the guys is like photocopying paintings somehow, and there's just a police officer standing behind him, just like, <laughs> just, just seeing what? what's going uh. on. <laughs> it's great, Beautiful. it's so good. But then one other person's like photocopying melons, I don't know how that works. Mm, melon? melon. Just flatten it. Melon? Yeah. Melon? Melon? <laughs> no, it's like, it's like full melons. <laughs> we'll be alright, you just have to leave. Yeah, <laughs> highly recommended. Very, cool. very good game. Does reroll um, add anything, or is it just a straight up like HD port? It's a straight up HD port. I own I it. Think I it's, just have yet to play it. It's based on the Japanese version, so like huh. everything is still there, but a few of the songs are in like different places. The only oh. thing it's that weird. they could have made better was if they had like the battle royale mode from like I think what is it? We love Katamari that has a better multiplayer mode. Oh, it's not a, it's not battle royale, but like the We Love Katamari multiplayer is so much fun because you can both control the same Katamari, and like oh work together. It's it's amazing. Um, but hopefully they good. hopefully they do We Love Katamari reroll. I would totally buy that. That that totally just brings to my mind the fact that like we got um, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. that compared to the that, that honestly, Banana Bliss is in my opinion the worst game in the Monkey Ball series by a long shot. Yeah. No, what about the 3DS one? Never played Wait. it, so I can't comment Excuse on me? it. There's a 3DS one. There is a Game no, Boy Advance for uh, the release. What the fuck? Can we just pretend like every Monkey Ball after one and two just didn't happen? Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> I think the developers of them are also doing it. Yeah. <laughs> well, now See, they are. My thing with Monkey Ball is that because of my weird, how my weird my brain works, I always associate it with that weird Morocco Wii game. Oh. Oh, um, Samba de Amigo. Yeah. Samba yeah. de Amigo. I remember that. Yeah. Monkey. Monkey. But because, like, the, I don't know, the design. I mean, they're both the Sega. Very similar to me. Sega. They're both Sega monkeys, so. It when makes can sense. we get a Katamari Monkey Ball crossover? Fuck, hmm. man. That I'd sounds that. like the best thing I would ever play in my life. They both involve rolling, I mean. <laughs> the more you roll, like, the more you roll, the harder the course gets. Because you <laughs> become so big, you can't complete it. <laughs> you can't fit through the goal, you just pick up the goal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really it's do like cool. okay, but like on that note, like I love things that are like combo randomizers, like uh, li like Link to the Past uh, Super Metroid combo randomizer, where you oh, go that, through that a door, so cool. you switch yeah. games. Yeah. Imagine oh God, that, but with like Super Monkey Ball and Katamari, where like, oh you beat you beat the Super Monkey Ball level. Okay, now it flips over and it's like oh now do the now do the Katamari thing on the other side of it. It's like, like oh, I would shit. love. Just like an actual game that is two games crossed over. That is like two established things and there's like two things great. that have to intersect properly. That would be really good. Or it could be like a Katamari game, but you have to tilt the world map to move the Katamari. Oh my God. <laughs> like the entire thing. That would be really cool. All honestly. of the characters start oh. freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's just like, ah! Alright. Uh, Kirby Star, Star Allies. Allies. I have haven't not played it. it. Despite its popularity, I have not played it. I, I have want played. Play okay, I love Kirby games. I have played, I would say, a solid ninety percent of them. Um, in terms of Kirby games, it is Garbo, straight up. Really? Have I you mean, played it? I do not think it's good. 
as a Kirby game or have as a it? Kirby game. I have played about half of it and then not gone back to it because it's it fair just enough. Like, That's fair like, enough. I mean, I did not enjoy it. A lot of people thought it, a lot of people thought it was good, and I'm like, no. I mean, you can you can enjoy something that as a game from the series that even though it's like garbage. As I had the that same problem as a lot of Switch games, where like, didn't they not have that many allies to start with, and so there was just very little content? That um, is true. I did I, play it I when there was not that. much content, and I heard that they added just like a ton of DLC characters and stuff. Yeah, aren't they working like, on more Kirby games? Didn't they confirm that? Yeah. Okay. God, I hope so. Like, I've never really got... been a big Kirby fan. I played Triple Deluxe, and then I own Robobot, but I never made it past the first world because I'm just not really big into uh, like 2D platformers. But I played um, uh, what was it? The All Star DS one. I played that. Oh, one. Um... Superstar Ultra. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That I played that, that in my opinion is the best one. I loved that game. It's just a it straight up ripped. remake of Superstar, and it's just like which is the second best game. <laughs> Imagine Kirby okay. Air Ride on Switch. Okay. With online uh, 100 person multiplayer. Labo. Has anybody played the cardboard box? Nope. I no. I have not. I don't I even know what it is. The I did not buy the $80 cardboard. Thank you. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I don't need to pay $80 to for that. cardboard. I mean, the VR right. looked cool. But. Yeah, I can play Smash. $80 Smash in the VR. I don't think the VR was $80. I thought that was like. 40 Wasn't it like 40 Forty dollar cardboard. Yeah. Forty dollar cardboard. Another like, piano was like eighty bucks. People were oh. making cool stuff oh. with the piano though. Oh yeah. People were doing really cool things with Labo. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't want to like organize all this cardboard. I have nowhere to put it. <laughs> I I think that there's like a piano that looked cool. Mm -hmm. Probably would have fallen apart real quick, but I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah, it's a cool it, idea. It was such a cool concept. I went to. Yeah. I went to um. The Nintendo store in New York, while Labo was a thing, and there was like these whole like just tables laid out of like Labo crafts that you could do, and I thought, wow, this looks really neat. Yeah, and... like that's the thing. I would love to try it out. I just don't want to buy it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel. It, that. Isn't that also just the d dilemma we all face these days? Yeah. <laughs> you could sell me Labo if it was like twenty bucks. <laughs> hmm. I don't. But like, I, I'm not paying for it. Period. I just want to play with cardboard, and I can I'd do that without it paying money. To me. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. Just grab cardboard from anywhere. Yeah. Layton. Professor uh, Layton. Haven't played Never it. Played. I didn't know this haven't game existed until I started looking at games for the list. But I know that I a lot Layton's of people love good. Professor Layton, There's always but time I never for played a any game. I like the music in Layton. The music's good. The puzzle, I've played a few of the puzzles because my friend um, had the latent games and was like, I don't know what to do, you look at it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but that's like my only experience with it. So. Yeah. I wish Ace Attorney Trilogy was Switch exclusive at any point. That would have been such a fun <laughs> one to put on here. I love that game. And I would have been like console defining because I love Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I need to finish that. Oh, I agree. Like the second case. <laughs> okay. Luigi's Luigi. Mansion, Luigi's Mansion 3. I love this game. This game is very, very good. I haven't finished it, but I've I agree. It. it takes every element that was introduced in Dark Moon and improves upon it in every way. Fuck yeah. Visually, this game looks... Like the, like the animations are so great. It is The fantastic. lighting is great. It looks amazing. I've been meaning to play it. I just haven't gotten around to it. And the it's multiplayer so mode is also Enjoy very in-depth. Luigi. Yeah, and the Luigi <laughs> mechanic is great. I I would almost put this in console defining. It's really, really good. I would agree. It's mm. it's a really good game. And it's one of the few on the list that I've actually played. Yeah. Like so, I feel like if I played yeah. it I feel like if I played it I would probably agree. Like from what I've seen of it, it, it really does look like a, an amazing game. It, it solves it's a, a lot well of the done. problems people had with Dark Moon, such as that like you went to so many different mansions, and this one is all takes place in like the, the yeah. one big hotel. And it's but there's a really like a good impact. variety of locations. Like there's like a whole like Egyptian. Yeah, desert. and all yeah. the portrait, like the the ghosts, the main ghosts that you capture have a lot of personality, and Dark Moon didn't have that. There was yeah, one they, boss it, fight it that I saw. That I saw the musician boss fight. 
on YouTube. And I thought that looked really, mm -hmm. really cool. I for I kind of forget what that yeah. like he he had like the piano or something. Yeah, he did. Yeah. But like everything I've like seen, the, like, the, the game... designs of the ghosts are really good. Hmm. And like I know Ryan, you're a big fan of like the original Luigi's Mansion. If there's anything on the list I would say to play next, I would say that. It's really good. Hmm. How yeah. do you think this compares I'd to the agree. original, Ryan? Oh, like the, the original? Well, the original <sighs> Luigi's Mansion was just so short. It was one of the shortest yeah. games on the GameCube. And I loved it. But I just think Luigi's Mansion 3 is like... There's if you like the original, it. play Luigi's Mansion 3. It is You'll get so much more out of it. How long I agree. is Luigi's so it's Mansion like, 3? Skip Dark Moon. Three. Hmm. I don't know because I haven't finished it, but like significantly longer it. than Luigi's Mansion. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Have you I, played? I have never Has played anyone it? played XCOM 2? No. <laughs> Are we the thinking thing I haven't played that either. Go to a different game. <laughs> well, well, I'm no, saying that because like, it's that's basically how it, it. Yeah, it's basically oh. an XCOM game. Like, it's like the same kind See, of I didn't like, even know play. that, so that shows how much I know about I mean, the Rapids. I've heard it's amazing. I yeah, remember when the game like leaked. It. When the game leaked, there was so much backlash. Everybody was like, oh, this is going to be awful. But then it came out, and people loved it. <laughs> yeah, but like, this game is... It's well made. I've seen a lot of good things about it. Even if it's made by Ubisoft, it looks... <laughs> Yeah, shots fired. It's, it's not Assassin's Creed, where they where the <laughs> faces don't load. I mean, there's a big bunny that's got Waluigi's clothes, and it's called Waluigi. And it's pretty great. Mm. Like, well, the, and I mean, the Rabbids games, like the originals, they weren't that bad. So, I thought one through four were pretty good. There were like one part. Like, I think after Rabbids Go Home, the quality declined a bit. Yeah, I only played two. Poor Rayman, though, like, he got shelved after the Rabbids got popular. Yeah. Uh, kind the of. I mean, he had a couple games. Yeah. Didn't, wasn't there a Wii U Rayman game? Um. Was there? Or was that I know he's had some platforms since. Right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, like Rayman like... Legends or Rayman Origins and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, we're getting off track. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Mario and Sonic at Olympics. Is that out? I don't. I know. never heard anything of it. So, to so I like this one, just for the premise of it's an event that didn't actually and will not happen. <laughs> there, there are not going to be right. games. They're not going to happen. It's an alternate it's timeline. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, oh man, it's think... very amusing to me. Um, shirtless Waluigi, console defining. <laughs> well, I think what, well, also there's the the fact that, um, Yoshi rides a horse. Like, just all the interesting thinking that goes into something like that. Yeah, I just haven't played it, though. It's just... Well, it I've played good. the original. Does that count? <laughs> Oh, you know, the I, one from 2007 on the Wii? Yeah. Oh, yeah that I also did. Oh, oh. And Max oh we lost gone. Max. Max! Did we lose Max? <laughs> yeah. <We All>, right. <laughs> yeah. He's gone. But, I just got back. So, so shirtless oh. Waluigi and shirtless Wario and shirtless Eggman. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. Those are some pretty Bro. good things. <laughs> that, there were so many memes that came out of that. It was funny. <laughs> yeah. Guess what so I'm eating. Memes in what are you uh, eating? Possibly. Macaroni. I am Mac eating. Wow. Max, are you okay? I'm Bacon back. Scallops. My Wi Fi cut out. <laughs> okay, um. Coming back to us. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, man. But yeah, uh, like the thing with Mario and Rabbids say... is like. Oh, what did you guys say? We, we were just we... talking about shirtless Eggman. It's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I played it. Oh, you played this? Yes. What? What did you think? Oh, the you Olympics? I played this. No, 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 no. Mar, uh, friggin' Rabbids. Oh, you played oh. it? Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh okay. Get okay. Get out of there, then. What do you think of it? Where would you put um, it? Um, so... 
it's either worth a shot or highly recommended. Okay. Um, um, I don't think it's good enough for highly recommended. It's it's really 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 fun. It's friggin' it's Mario Fire Emblem with minions, <laughs> essentially. Oh. Um, the graphics are fucking amazing. It's got like it's it's be- it's a beautifully made game. Very very fun combat. A lot not a ton of depth to it, but a lot more than you'd expect. So mm. very very good. Worth a shot. All right. Okay. Okay. And then we haven't played Olympic Games. I haven't played it. I like how Sonic just has his own Olympic Games series. Yeah, they put it on the phones. It's like Sonic is Olympic Games. Mario yeah. went home. Yeah. Mario went on vacation. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't um they didn't make they didn't make the uh chopping block. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, like shirtless Egg Man, shirtless Wario. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yoshi riding a horse, Sonic yeah. with a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Everything about that is good. There's just so much. There's so much there, and it's all good. I played the original, like, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. What was it, the 2012? Yeah, that oh, was yeah. a Oh, yeah, that one was really good, actually. One. All right. So for the next one, I think the way we decide, has anyone not played Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Me. I I played the original. I don't have eight deluxe. Okay, because uh, this is a weird one. This is a really it's weird. I literally one. played it last week. Mario Kart. It, it it's the same as Mario Kart Eight, but it adds enough that I think it's console defining. Like hmm. we have played so much of this game, and it we fixed have enjoyed the battle everything. Mode. <laughs> yes, yes, that's the biggest thing that they changed, and they added a couple of extra characters like the Inklings. And there's two items. Like, I think it's just the best Mario Kart that there is. I think if you own a Switch and don't have Mario Kart, you're a fraud. Yeah, oh. like, <laughs> you need to have this game. It is great. I'm a fraud. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's fine. Like, it, it's, I mean, it's Mario Kart on the Switch. To be honest. Until we get Mario Kart 9, I think I it's think, console I defining. Don't, I don't think it's that great. I don't like it very much. Really? really? Well, yeah, you're I, wrong. I think the balancing is, like, garbage. <laughs> Hey, wait, wait fix minute. the item balancing in fight, Deluxe. Fight, fight. Discord just broke for me. I'm looking at a completely blank gray screen. Oh, that's oh, cool. That's fun. No, but Riley, did you play Deluxe? Because they fixed the item balancing from the uh, Yeah, original. I only have Deluxe. I'm going to restart oh, okay. it. Give me a second. It's bad online. Some Like, the online isn't great. Um, sometimes you'll throw a shell and, like, Switch hit somebody. Game. I mean, there yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Eight Deluxe is just... It's so good. They added Bowser Jr. back in. It, it's great. Ryan, remember when you forgot they added him in the game like nine months after it came out? Oh, absolutely. I was like, Bowser Jr. is not in the game. And it took me like five minutes to realize that, yes, he was in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I haven't really seen many people play Bowser um, Jr. online. Like, nobody selects him. Yeah, but like, it's Mario Kart 8 with all the DLC and improved in a bunch of ways. You don't yeah. get better than that. Yeah. Uh, until Mario Kart 9 comes out. Like, they have and the other- somehow has less content. Like, other remakes, like Mario Deluxe, like, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, like, that's not actually a deluxe game. It doesn't really deserve to be called deluxe. It's Mario Kart 8 is absolutely- game. It's deluxe. The word deluxe now makes me angry on sight. Yeah, so. but Mario <laughs> Kart 8 Deluxe actually deserves that. Like, it really is the definitive Mario Kart. Yeah. yeah. Isn't Smash Ultimate Smash DX in Japan? I don't um, remember. Smash special. Yeah, Smash Special. special. Which mm. one was DX? Um, a... Melee. That's that's Melee. Uh, Melee. Was, what, what was Brawl? I don't remember. Brawl. It's Brawl. The one where you fall over. <laughs> <laughs> remember all the fun stuff you could do in the last game? Not anymore. <laughs> All right, let me give my two cents about the next one. Oh boy. Bros of Mario Tennis oh. Aces. It's got Waluigi. Cons of Mario <laughs> Tennis Aces. It isn't fun. <laughs> oh. Uh, I played the demo. I, I, I yeah. enjoyed it. Can we talk it about was... own it. Chain Chomp, though? It's Chain fine. Chomp. Can we talk about Playable Fire Piranha Chomp? Plant? They added Fire Piranha Plant, guys. I, I'm gonna, oh I'm gonna, gonna have, I'm gonna give my vote for Matt. Like, it's a fine game. Do you own game. it? No. 
But I played but, the demo, and that's good yeah, enough. Um, <laughs> we can't rank it then. Have any what? of us played it? I haven't played the full release. I haven't either. Wait, yeah, did, but like, wasn't there like a free like trial a good, of it? I've seen like enough a full of release it. for Nintendo Switch Online members for like a few days or like a week yes. or something. Wait, really? It's I didn't. Like, I didn't play it when that. I happened. know the gameplay, and like huh. the gameplay is going to be the same throughout the game. And like, there's a couple of mini games and like a story mode. Basically, okay, it's no, the story Mario mode's actually like a fully fledged out story mode, and you have to get the fucking Infinity Stones to <laughs> to oh, yeah, uh, snap the universe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> the I've Infinity seen Racket. But basically, I watched someone it's play like, through the story, and it's funny. Like you're self aware, it's great. I'm just gonna say Mario Tennis Ultra Smash was probably a tech demo for Mario Tennis Aces, but they released it. <laughs> When did that come well, out? Was that during, like, a downtime in the Wii U's lifespan? Yes. They were just like, hey, we, you want to make Mario Tennis on the on the Wii U? Sure, should we finish it? Nah. <laughs> nah. You get to it's become fine. a big put character. In, put in the Mega Mushroom and no additional modes and you're good. I mean, Aces is you know definitely an improvement on we Ultra Smash. Mario Tennis on the Game Boy Advance, that was an RPG. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. And Waluigi was in it with without original Wario. characters. Wait, oh, Wario wasn't in that. it. Yeah, Wario just wasn't in it, but Waluigi <laughs> was. <laughs> you only get Not Waluigi really. via like Game Boy download link cable. It was the weirdest thing. <laughs> so I remember that. That's hilarious. The secret forbidden Waluigi. <laughs> that game was actually really good though. As was the game, the GameCube uh, Mario Tennis. As was oh my gosh, Mario dude. Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. That was great. Camelot is just good. I like Camelot. I agree. And stuff. Aren't they dead? <laughs> um, Aren't they dead? I don't I know. I think they got absorbed by something. Like they held. I know. Maybe. Who developed the Mario and Luigi games? Because they're gone. Uh, that was Alpha Dream. Alpha, Alpha yeah. Dream. Yeah. Yes, Alpha Dream is gone. I think Camelot is uh, still around. Hudson is also gone, who did the original didn't, Mario I, Camelot did Mario yeah. Tennis Aces, I think. So Cam so Camelot is... Um, they did Golden Sun, too. So Camelot is a child... Um, they're a child developer of Sega. Hmm. Interesting. Camelot okay. is my second favorite company, because it's a representative of Camelot who created Waluigi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, fun, fun facts. Anyway, what, what the heck is his next game? Ultimate uh, Marvel, Marvel Ultimate you... Alliance well, they 3. Well, did make Golden Sun. Now I'm really I played sad. the first one on the Wii for like Wait, 10 minutes and I was that? like, this is okay. I haven't played this. What is this? Marvel Ultimate Alliance Warrior. 3. I, I, was was at Thanos. Thanos. I mean, Thanos is there, right? Is he in there? Is he? Um, yeah, he is. He's the main villain. Okay. He's like assembling with the other villains, I think. I mean, literally anything that a Marvel IP touches has to, like, tie into the MCU so that they can make money, so... I'm not oh. salty about Marvel Infinite. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I just God, that I game was fucking cared. ruined by the MCU, it hurts. I haven't cared about Marvel years. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I liked Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. Yeah, those, those were, were good, good films. movies. Good movies. I haven't been keeping well, up with anything in the Marvel the Cinematic thing, Universe. Sometimes they have good movies, and, but a majority of the time, the movies are not good, and you kind of just gotta find a way to filter through the trash. And I'm just don't. not willing to do that anymore. Just All right. don't. <laughs> so remember when New Super Mario Bros. U came out on the, on the Wii U, and everyone was like, no. this is just New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and like, no one really cared about it? Well, that's just, that's what I played it on the Wii U. It's pretty mad. I, didn't play it. Um, I played it on the Nintendo DS. <laughs> if anything, this game is actually the Antichrist because it caused <laughs> Bowsette. It, it oh did. my god, you're right. Wait, yes. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, I you see that little. That. Hold on, yeah, Max. they added that. Zoom further. Zoom I further. That's, that's as much as I can zoom. No more so zoom. So that's Peachette, which is a Enhanced. power up specifically for Toadette that turns her into Peach. And everyone went, oh. ooh. I wonder what would happen if we put that on all of the characters. Bowser! And the internet it's died. From Bowser. The internet, Bowser. especially Twitter, was 
Tainted forever for like three months. Wasn't there like official <laughs> yeah. Nintendo concept art of Bowsette at one point? What? Like that was like an no. idea what? Nintendo yeah. had. Yeah, it Are looked different. Yeah, it was yeah. like a a Bowser like the, hat. Yeah, and like the Mario Odyssey like art book or something, right? Oh yep. no. Huh, interesting. But, yeah, but yeah, I played the Wii U version. I, I looked this up. This is this is actually a it's, thing. It yeah. added maybe like three features. It's, it's also New game. Super Luigi U. It combined the two, but I never it's, played it's, New it's Super it. Luigi U. I played the original but, Mario Bros. U Deluxe and it was alright, I guess. It was a Wii U launch title. It's just oh. so basic. Just play Mario Maker instead. Yeah, we, we can't that's place this higher than meh when Mario Maker 2 is on the Switch, like... Yeah, put it in meh. Yeah, yeah in I played the game. original on the Wii U, and it was... Yeah. Oh my god, remember the Wii U I mean, launch? Like, okay, like... Oh my god, remember the Wii I, I feel like New Soup <laughs> peaked uh, on the Wii. Yeah. Wii was amazing. Yeah, first Wii was one and then the Wii is... So the DS was, DS was really, really good. Wii mm. was really, really good. And then everything else... Was it just felt like they yeah. were just trying to retread. Yeah, because we was like, you, I can play with three friends at the same time. That, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And then they were like, Moon Super Mario Bros. 2 on the 3DS was like, hey, you like coins? That is the only feature. Fuck you. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh, God. Apparently I'm... that game's good. What? Two? Two. Two. two is okay. Mm. I've heard good things. Yeah. Uh, All right. Octopath. Octopath. I love Absolutely Octopath. Absolutely my favorite RPG on the Switch. It's very... It's, I haven't it's played a lot it, of fun. It's visually it's, very nice. It's very similar to Bravely Default, if anyone has played that. It's a oh, top I that. Been highly recommended. Spencer, you would love this game. Spencer would absolutely love Octopath. Like, I have my I'm, I, I'd put it highly... Default, highly recommended just because it, like... It gets a little bit stale. There's a lot of grinding, but it's really unique and it has a great story element. Also, so it, the art. It's very good. It, yeah, it's beautiful. No, talk about the, the art again. I lo okay, it's I beautiful. love the music too. It's beautiful. There was one day at work where I listened to the soundtrack for like eight hours. Wow. It, it's, I mean, it's amazing. I've done that with it's games. It's amazing. To the Victor's Hollow theme on repeat for like an hour once. Oh, I love the field themes. I'm like I mean, just I walking fell around. Listening so to the, um, Honestly, I fell asleep listening to like the Pokemon campground theme one time. So yeah, I get that. If anything, the defining feature of this game is how customizable it is. You pick one character to start off with, and then the rest of the game is up to you. You can go find any other number of characters in whatever order, and the difficulty scales really well. Mm. There's just it's so much customizability. I, I like are... the simplicity of it. There are the main eight jobs and a secret number of extra jobs that you can find later in the game. And any character can have any sub job that isn't their main job. There is so much customizability in this game. Yeah, and then you get Rune Lord Tressa, and then you just never get hit by. Physical we don't. Attacks, we don't talk and then about Rune Lord Tressa. <laughs> we want people to enjoy the game. Not break That's it. how I enjoyed the game. <laughs> we enjoy it by breaking. Um, I, I think the main issue I had with Octopath is that the main party members like had very little to no interaction and they had oh. no reason to be traveling together but their individual stories are really really fun and entertaining for the most part um some of them are definitely better than others i didn't finish it, it, all of their main stories i remember alfins being the best though in my opinion alfins was really really cool i started with alfin and honestly i think that's a really good point if it were more immersive I think it would get console defining. It just isn't. Yeah, but it definitely feels like an old school RPG. Um, it has a lot of like mechanics and stuff like that. Um, I love the class system. I love exploring and finding the new jobs and like secret shrines and because the game really does play with perspective a lot. Uh, so like there'll be like hidden caves that you can't really see and you just kind of need to like like pay very close attention to how paths split and that kind of stuff oh that's very yeah. old RPG. My, my it's very complaint. very like old school i have one really big complaint and this is just personally great right because of how i chose to play it if you don't have theory on in your party you can't open certain chests and there's just yes. no way to open yeah them yeah you. that really irritated me uh, it didn't really bother me all that much just because Therion was one of my, my my main characters that I used most of the time. Um, 
But I should also note, like, I didn't finish all of the main stories. I think I, I finished Tressa's, I finished Cyrus's, and I finished Alfin's. And maybe Therion. I'm still trying to fight that eagle, dude. I can't Oh, the it. eagle? Rune Lord Tressa. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. I just got the sorcerer. Anyway, mm. let's talk about a mostly useless game. Pokemon oh, yeah. Pikachu. I never. Hey or, Pikachu, let's go Pikachu oh, and Eevee. Let, dude, I no, don't even know the name of it. Okay. Hey you, Pikachu. Uh, I played Let's Go Eevee. I, I didn't finish it. I played uh, Pokemon Blue. <laughs> <laughs> I have I played a Pokemon game in my life yet. <laughs> I have uh, played Pokemon. Yes. As a Pokemon game, like <laughs> trash. I yeah, I, yeah, a, I think a, it's pretty as mad. Entry point as an entry point for new people and new a new generation of players to learn and play pokemon it's all right it's I've all right heard it's it's just very it's bare bones pokemon instead though like they cost the same amount yeah like that game did like, nothing for me but, but you better. get to get new it this was, was, it was the po pokeball plus you can only use it once so if you got your mew in pokemon let's go pikachu you just can't use that pokeball to get mew again and sword and shield Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu was just to tie you everybody transfer Pokemon over from Let's Go Shield. Okay. Game. So you can transfer Pokemon from Let's Go to Sword and Shield now. That's the thing. Oh. You got to yeah. pay for it though. Right? You got to pay for it. So oh, mm -hmm. you can get it, so but but from that you can also get Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon it, Let's Go it to Pokemon Sword and Shield. It prints money. It the prints so money. No, it prints shinies. <laughs> 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 it is. I this is the it. game that it is easiest by far to get shinies in. I hate. Yeah, because you can. I, I liked I being able to see Pokemon like wander around on the map. That was really cool. Oh, that. I've been. Okay, my only thing that I find good from that game is the fact that the Pokemon get to follow you again. Because they didn't have. They haven't had that since Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and that was one of yeah. my favorite things. Yeah, that was cool too. So you're telling but me that let's didn't go put it back in, and I was like, Ugh. so you're telling me let's go Pikachu's just like an underground black market shiny generator. And that's <laughs> all it's good for. <laughs> that's all it's good for. Ah. Um, but I definitely think the let's go games were more to get Pokemon Go players back into the series or like into the it, series. It was about Pokemon Go. That was the main yeah. reason for okay. it existing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not my. Kind I have of game. a really hot take. Mm -hmm. So the summer that Pokemon Go came out and everyone was outside and that was the best game. Yeah. This year's the opposite of that. No one can go yeah. outside, but Animal Crossing is the best game and it involves going outside in the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just the That's opposite. Accurate. It's yeah. Yeah. All right, what's this next Pokemon right, game? Uh, I I've oh, never that's, seen. Okay, okay, Mystery okay, Dungeon. Okay. So Mystery Dungeon, it's a remake of the original Mystery Dungeon, which I have a very soft spot so soft spot for. It was my first Pokemon game, Pokemon uh, Blue Rescue Team. So by technicality, this, but... you're allowed to talk about this, but you haven't yes. actually played this yeah, game. No, I but I have played, played a version of it. I played the I original DS one as well. Okay, I own there, it. Are there changes? I've played or is it. it really Riley's just played it. the same game? It... I Riley, played is it, it the same? Ooh. No. So oh, how different is it? So the story is the same, right? So oh, it, fo well, it follows it follows the story to a T. That's good. The, I really like it, the story. It drastically improves on all mechanics. Um, oh. it, it it introduces all like everything up through like all the changes that are brought up in like Gen Eight for say like they've added fairy yeah. types. They retroactively. I saw that. They like they rebalanced a bunch of stuff, even though it's still fundamentally a very easy game to break. Aren't there mega evolutions, oh, yeah. even though mega evolutions just aren't part of the main series anymore? Yep. Uh, yes. Huh. Interesting. Um. So th there, there's a lot of stuff. It, it, it's a honestly, I think it is the best mystery dungeon has ever been, and I love that series. Like I time, love the art time, style. Time, darkness, and sky are like. Oh, but yeah, well, so, that's, yeah. Uh, so that's the next point I have. Um, the art style, like a lot of people did yeah. not do not like the art style, and uh, to a lot of people initially, it's really abrasive, and they're like, "Oh, this is weird." 
But once you get into it, literally the art style is what is meant to mimic the original like concept art and splash screens that the game had, which yeah. I think I is think it's such charming. a beautiful love letter. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I agree. Not console defining, but highly yeah. recommended. I think it. I mean, it's personally defining for me, but I think the for like generally speaking, it's definitely a highly recommended instead. It's mm -hmm. very charming, and it's a remake of one of the, personally my favorite Mystery Dungeon games, even though it's the first one. And it's just a, it's very nice. I like how they improved the mechanics. I played the demo, so I kind of have an idea of what it, what they did, but I don't know. Also, I think it's really good. One of the best soundtracks in like all oh, yeah. of Pokemon, and also oh, probably yeah, the yeah. best Pokemon spinoff series. I agree, wholeheartedly. Pokemon Sword. All right. Well, <laughs> Sword and Shield. Mm, I played Shield. So we just got play I, okay. right now, or I play. I I've played through this game twice now. I beat this. I have played it. I played through all of all of um, the main story. Did right. you enjoy it either time? I enjoyed it. So I, don't know. I played. I played this game twice. <laughs> so I, uh, so I, so at the point, at the point when my Switch got stolen, I had I had 140 hours into Pokemon Sword, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. So, so I'm like, so uh, from my my perspective is from a competitive Pokemon player. I love competitive. It's great. I play it for fun. As a Pokemon game, and as a Switch game. It is bad. <laughs> it is the the plot is horrible. Can, can we talk the, about the that? The new plot? Pokemon added are fun. <laughs> the, the, we can just get we can just get get out of the way. The plot is probably like bottom three in the series. <laughs> Swordboard and Shieldbird are yeah. like the worst <laughs> NPCs. Oh, honestly, too. yeah. They yeah, they're they are. They are I hate them. the physical awesome. embodiment of everything I have. Title. Hey, wait, Riley, I have a question for you. Mm. Did Did you know that Leon's Charizard is the number <laughs> one Charizard in the whole the whole Galar region? Wait, he is. Yeah, did you wait, know he's Tom? undefeated? <laughs> yeah, undefeated. I have now beaten him twice, and one of those times was with Boner Storm the Pelipper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot I sent you the thank you. Yeah, I did. Yep, he sent. I had my friends all send me like level one freshly bred Pokemon for me to do an egg lock with, which was very fun. So I basically had my my party was made out of six Pokemon sent to me from various friends because I had to play through the game again because I because fun fact Pokemon Sword and Shield do not have any form of cloud saves whatsoever. Oh, so. that, I, I neither does Animal that, Crossing. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Nintendo. What is Thanks, what Nintendo. Doing? I think Animal Crossing is getting some form of cloud saves, though, right? Thanks, Nintendo. Like, like some <laughs> form? <laughs> okay, th this is more of a thanks game freak, though, on this end. To be fair. Yeah, but from what I'm hearing, this is supposed to be the next mainline Pokemon game. It just doesn't sound good. Are we putting it in Matt or worth a shot? I would say worth a I shot purely because I would it's say still, worth it's a shot. still Pokemon. Nothing higher. Still Pokemon. I mean, I played through the entire game with one Pelipper. Yeah, you sure did. Uh-huh. <laughs> you still got the footage. It, it, I have it's... all of the footage. <laughs> I think my problem, my problem with it is um, what I would prefer at this point is a remake of one of the older games instead of them trying to keep making new stuff. Because I would love I mean, to see... They, they usually, like, switch off. Like, they do, like, a new game, yeah. then a remake. Like, every... Gen yeah, 4! Yeah, I think I Gen want... 4 is definitely next. I want... I want that so bad. You have no idea. I just hope they yeah, take their time with and... it. So, with Sword, I... Th because we have two major DLC expansions, which are the a first time ever in yeah. Pokemon coming out. Yeah. yeah. I feel like once DLC. those are out and the game actually has some post-game content, I w might have a different answer. Yeah. Might. Me too. Mm. It's just... That's been happening with so many games Nintendo puts out lately. There's just... They release unfinished. Like, eh. 
And they're they joining the industry te- industry trend. You you put out a game that is like 80% finished, and then you just continuously release DLC. And then after that, you just like try to make as much money as possible. But my biggest problem with Sword and Shield was that like not only was it unfinished, but it was pretty unpolished as well. Like Splatoon, like the original Splatoon released unfinished, but I felt like that was a pretty polished game, and I was like confident that it was gonna be good. Mm. Um, but with like Sword and Shield, it's like. Well, I mean, a lot of the stuff in the main game just, like, isn't great. The story's pretty bad, and I don't think the DLC isn't going to fix the main game. Max, put up no. that image of young Link in front of the Sword and Shield tree. Oh, <laughs> the Ocarina of Time tree? People have been retexturing Sword and yeah. Shield. It looks really good. Yeah. Oh. Um, but yeah, the, the story was, like, laughably bad. I like the part where, like, the adults are just like, uh, like, something really cool was going on. Like, a big, like, light was coming out of, like, one of the, the towns. And then the adults like, oh, this doesn't look so good, but, uh, y- you just keep going on your adventure. We'll take care of it. It's like, I want to see what's going uh, on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then they proceeded to do nothing. Um, and then, like, nothing the main happened. villain. Do, do we care Oops. about spoilers? Because his motivations were, like, pretty terrible. Well, okay. If, if, we, if we were to care about... Uh, if we were to care about spoilers for this game, we would have to give credence to the fact that we would have no. We would have to give credence to the opinion that the it actually has a plot. I mean, yeah. it's barely it, one. It's, you can't it's, spoil it, yeah. something with no Here's plot. The yeah. Thing. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. When it comes to Pokemon games, I never go in expecting good plot. And that's kind of where I'm sitting on this. Mm. Is I'm that's going valid. in and I'm expecting haha funny animals. We we fight the animals with the yeah. I mean, like, l- like look I... at Gen 3's plot. <laughs> exactly, thank you. I want more water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. I right. want more land. Seven point eight out of ten. <laughs> and, and, I want and, like stupid stuff like that. I don't need existential. Gen 1 and Gen 2 is just like the Mafia exists. Yeah, and I'm fine yeah. with that. I liked that. I that really was good. Want... And then I Gen also... 5 is just like actually a good plot. Yeah. I'm putting it down here because th- there's no Jigglypuff. Wait, what? <laughs> right. They're just yeah, no, good, Jigglypuff's not in this game. <laughs> oh, that's bullshit. Yep. Yeah, and th- there's the whole like cut Pokemon thing too, which is. We like, can, we can whole, talk. It's a I whole feel like other can of worms. Is... Yeah, Dex hits a whole other can of worms. I think. I think we're just leave it about- in worth a shot because I want people to like play competitive Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like a very casual Pokemon player, and I really yeah. th- this game didn't do anything for me. I would not put it in the same tier as Let's Go, personally. I liked it more than Let's Go, though. I finished Sword I and Shield. I did not finish Let's Go, <laughs> so, so there's that. Shot. Yeah, yeah, it's it's all right. Hopefully, the I, next games are better. better. What? How about we talk about, uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors? Oh, Pokin! Oh! I have not played it. Oh, that's what that is. I didn't recognize the box art. So I I didn't- so I don't own this. Okay, so I own- I own the Wii U version. Ooh! Play that for a little bit. That- that's- that's fair. It's like the same game, pretty much. They just added some more content. But I also played DX, because, um, my college did a, a group thing with, um, I have played this competitively in tournament. <laughs> really? Yeah. I I'll, made I'll, it I'll... to grand finals. <gasps> Where would yeah. you put it? Wait, wait, wasn't wasn't that the, the event? This is what I, I want to talk about. I have a story. <laughs> I'm just about to say Ooh. It. Yeah. So Pokemon Society had a collab event with Smash Club, mm. and Pokémon was one of the games that was played there. Um, I made it to grand finals in that tournament and i got bullshitted out of a win because i technically won so i i won game one i won game two and then he's like but wait you're using an illegal assist pokemon it's technically banned in our rule set a rule set which was not public knowledge (laughs) okay so so i was so i was i was 2-0 I had won the tournament. He pulls that bullshit after I've, we've already played two matches. 
And then we have to go. And then he's like, and then like the TO to appease his fellow e board member who is being a little baby and crying rules after I've already won. He didn't say anything before the match started, after the match was already going, or after the match. He waited until I had already won the set, and then he's like, no, let's replay. Wow. So I had to replay the set, and I went 1-2. Uh. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it's so already I have, started, like, you I have just, like, retroactively, emotions? like... It's literally yeah, just, yeah. like... Uh, so, as, so as a fighting game... It is extremely watered down Tekken with Pokemon as an IP. That is all it is. It has it I has no it. it has no story mode. Oh. It is I, as I far as I campaign. know. Did they add What's that, did Spencer? they only add I new characters? Had a campaign. What up, Spencer? Uh, uh they I could have sworn they had a campaign, but also it, it yeah, does the, have the a DX campaign. Had new characters. Isn't it like really short? I don't know. And it ends with like the edge, shadow Mew edgy shadow, sh yeah. shadow the Mew. <laughs> but um, I I also play it. Um, shadow the Mew hugs. I it's fun. I found, it, I found it very fun. There was one mechanic that I couldn't get the hang of, but I mean, overall my experience was pretty pretty positive. The gameplay does come down to at like at, at a at a mid level. The gameplay does come down to rock paper scissors though, which is very annoying. Mm. There's literally like there's a whole interrupt system for like oh I I tried to grab you so it is literally rock paper or scissors and you have to pick one and if you pick wrong I get a full punish and a comp. It is not a good fighting game. It is not a good like it, it's not a good fighting game and on that metric it's meh. On the fact that it is a fun party game. I would give it a worth a shot. Okay. All right. I played the demo on the Wii U version, um, but it was weird because like the Wii U version came out and they just like never updated it. But the arcade version in Japan kept getting updated with new characters. Hmm. And then they just added all the new characters into Pokémon Tournament DX. But yeah, I I would put it in yeah worth a shot. I think that's I, fair I, enough. I enjoyed it a lot uh, mm -hmm. for what I did play. Uh, it's definitely something you have to play with other people. Alone is just bored. Yeah. Okay, Ring Fit Adventure. Uh, wait, what? I'm, I haven't played it. This I've heard so many good things about this I game. have too. I'm tempted good to buy things? it. I don't know about I think it's sold things. out though. Isn't it? Hasn't it been oh, sold legit, out for yeah. a while? Okay. Every single person I know who has actually played it says it's godlike legitimately i know four people who have played it and i've watched like five reviews of it and they all loved it okay i'm first hearing about this game today i had <laughs> never <laughs> heard of it prior to today i don't i don't know how i feel about it's like it's just we fit advanced it's not no, it, it's a fitness rpg like it's a legitimate it is a RPG. fully fledged rpg so yeah ryan you do like fitness like poses and stuff to do attacks in the game you flex. Yeah. I, I kind of love that. It's it's it's, it's pretty cool. Demon. Oh god. Wait, 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 Max. Find uh -huh. a picture of the buff dragon demon. Okay. Dear god. I no, he, he he's kind of a mess. Give me no, not. Maybe don't it. Google that. Google it. Three. No, this is important. You have to see this. This is very important. This dude. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Various boss fights with him get funnier and funnier. I kind of love it. Just yeah, it, it, it looks like a God. really, really quality fitness game. It, it looks better than, like, Wii Fit. I would argue oh, that yeah. it is the Wii best Wii fitness Wii game that has ever existed, but we can't Because it's a legitimate it game. <laughs> I want to play it. Yes, it, it looks is. cool. Oh, they also just recently got a full. Uh, they just got like a whole. Whole well, what? W oh, yeah. Cut out. Which added oh, like. Whole... It, they yeah, added a like whole it. new DLC pack to it for free. Ooh. Um, it added like uh, you can choose what music plays where now. They added music oh, tracks. Cool. They added a bunch of shit, and apparently it made it even better. So they're actually still like adding stuff on. 
Yeah. And they like added great. more replay value to it too. It just kind of released um, out of nowhere too. Like it was announced and released like pretty quickly. Like yeah, it was pretty fast. Mm -hmm. I'll have to think about maybe getting it someday then. Yeah. Okay, right, so Snipper, Snipper Clips. Clips. Uh, like this was a Snipper Switch Clips. launch title. I think it was only. I think it was digital only at first, and then they released like a new version of it. Yes. Um, I have played the. I have played it, like on someone else's Switch with them, and mm -hmm. it was adorable, and I loved. It. It's I really fun. Never really played good. it, but it looks great. I, I think I played the demo or something when the Switch came out, and I thought it was really, really creative. I, th I think it's a very, very good puzzle game. Mm -hmm. I, I would say... It's fun I don't. I think it's going to be either... I think, I think, I think for the highly price that it is, especially... I think yeah, it's like, I do too. I think it's like 20. Yeah, yeah like what I, I played of it, like I want to play more. It's really fun. And I, I, I would it. say what we know of it, that that's worth it. Highly recommend. It makes really good use of the Joy-Cons. If anything, yes, I wish yes. there were more levels. Because I have like I have the whole game and I've played a lot of it. I wish there was more. From mm. from what I see of it, if there's a game that needs DLC, it's Snipper Clips. <laughs> I agree, Ryan. I agree. I think that I think that speaks even more to why it should be and highly recommended. Yeah, like if if you're begging for DLC for a game, then like the base game is good. Yeah. Oh yeah. For the most part, I don't I don't know about Pokemon, but <laughs> I'm begging for DLC because the base game is not much it's lacking yeah platoon yeah. 2 um, the platoon 2 is unique platoon it's kind of had its run already it was getting tons of content updates and the splat fests were really fun as of now it would be worth getting for the story mode alone because it's really really in-depth the story mode is very good i didn't play the octo expansion because my copy of splatoon 2 just like doesn't work half the time yeah that, uh... it just crashes <laughs> I heard Octo reason. Expansion is like the best content in the whole in the series. I heard it's there very is a hard. Lot with Splatoon 2. It's I would argue console defining. I think I would agree. I think it's, it's console defining. Really, I, th I think really the, good. I think it the it deserves that from everything I've heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I know like, people who I've hate shooters and love it. Splatoon is Nintendo's best IP, new IP in like the oh, last yeah. couple of oh, years. Oh yeah, definitely. The characters are memorable. The gameplay is fun. And there's just so much to it. Like, it, it, the replayability of all the little modes and stuff. And Splatoon 2 is just so much better than the first one. There is Imagine so if much ARMS was that good. Better. Yeah. <laughs> like, Splatoon's like a rarity. Because, like, Nintendo, like, never makes new IPs. Like, it's very, very uncommon for them to make new IPs. And Splatoon just comes out of the gate just swinging. You know mm. that Splatoon was, like... The actual costume and, like, all of the aesthetic design was done by actual, like, fashion design. Yep. So, like, all of this, all of the fashion in Splatoon is, like, actual, like, well-made fashion. It's very is, much which, its own thing. It's yeah, very yeah. unique. Say I cannot think of another game like it. Say Splatoon hadn't come out yet, and someone told you Nintendo was going to make a shooter, you'd probably laugh. You'd probably That's what I did! Laugh. <laughs> that is what I did when Splatoon 1 came out. I was like, oh, a first party Nintendo shooter. Yeah, right. And but then it was everyone like thought so this was going to be like Mario Sunshine 2. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is anti Mario Sunshine. The Mario Sunshine uh, crossover. Ooh. Got that. I think that, wait, wasn't that, that actually be... what it originally was? They had, they, they struggled to I come up know. with like a character to represent Splatoon. Like, they started yeah. out with, like, tofu blocks, and then they couldn't really figure- I think oh. they went from, like, tofu blocks to, like, rabbits, and then, like, Mario characters, and then they did the Inklings. Okay. Or something- I'm that really may, glad I, they took their time. The order might be wrong, but... There's, like, concept art featuring the rabbit characters, though. And then, like, the people hmm. working on the game were just like, wait, why are rabbits shooting paint? And then that that led them to make the squid designs, and I think the Inklings are very very well designed characters. They match so well with the gameplay, and that's what really impresses me. I agree. Like the movement cool. in that game is so much fun. There's so many different weapons you can use. The multiplayer is a lot of fun. Just it, it's 
it really, really does improve on the original. Nice. So. Uh, Mario Maker 2. A month Super ago? Mario Maker. Okay. Two. This is interesting. A month ago, I would have put it in highly recommended. But we just got the 3.0 update, and I think it's console defining now. Yeah. You can make your enti- you can make an entire traditional 2D Mario game with 40 levels. Yeah. Now. Yeah. There's like the, no reason to get any other 2D Mario anymore. Like, the only reason I would ever knock it down would purely be for its abysmal online. The online is bad, but it isn't the game's fault. It's no. Nintendo's server. I would agree. Mm. Yeah. And every other or thing about off. this game is perfect. <laughs> every other thing yeah. about this game is absolutely perfect. No. It is like uh, like it is Mario Maker 2 is what I Mario want Mario Maker 1 to be. It's just yes. because it's peak a 2D Mario. Mario game with infinite potential content. Yeah. You don't mm-hmm. beat that. Like, it puts Mario U to shame. Like, oh, to, yeah. To absolute shame. I love how it they even released has... Mario U before Mario Maker 2. Like, if they release it after... Well, they had to. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would have been good? If they literally, like, put... Mo- they just should have just shoved Mario U into Deluxe. <laughs> like, as part of it. You can just yeah. make like, it. Just make experience. the game. <laughs> The one thing it's missing is the amiibo costumes, but there's yeah, so much extra yeah. content. But also, but th- those were in those were only in SMB one mode, and like they were cute, but they were also a lot of like if they had put all of that effort, which I think they did. They t- if they had put all of that effort that they put into securing like the licensing rights and everything for all of those characters and the amiibo costumes into like the actual game. Mario Maker 1 would have been, like, what Mario Maker 2 is now. Can we also talk yeah. about the fact that, like, it has Zelda 1 Link, they put fucking he, Mario yeah, 2 he in. Yeah, he has his own moveset, Yeah, too. like, the thing is, yeah. the amiibo costumes were just aesthetic, but the Mario 1 theme actually has multiple styles of games within it now because of the extra costumes. Yep. It's insanely well good. Well like, it, Infi- Mario Maker infinite 2 can content. Be- it can be a platformer, or it can be a puzzle game, and there are not a lot of games like that. Mm. Someone made a calculator. Yeah, <laughs> it's also a calculator. A calculator. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no other. Ga- there, there's one other game that's like that, and that's Minecraft. <laughs> uh, so I played a lot of the original Mario Maker one. I didn't really get super into Mario Maker two for whatever reason. Um, I think I just had like a creativity block, and then I just never went back to it. Mm-hmm. If I feel like playing traditional 2D Mario, I open you're gonna up play Mario Maker, Maker too. too. I yeah, play. Like, Mario I Maker. I agree, it should be in console defining. Even though like I didn't really get too into it this time around, it, it's just I mean, you don't need any other 2D Mario game. This is the best one. Like I spend maybe like 20 minutes a day, like working on my world now. Mm-hmm. It's just fun. It is. Yeah. It just works. It does. It just works. Yeah, but now we do 3D Mario, and holy crap, Mario Odyssey is so yeah. Fuck, bro. Yeah. Mario yeah. Odyssey, I'm still defining all the way. It's mm. just... No arguments. No thoughts. Mario Odyssey, beautiful. more like Mario Odd Poopies. Even yeah, because, like, the, uh, the most recent... Down to meh. Yeah, <laughs> was like, 3D World was like, ah, oh, man, this is... Just a bunch of linear stuff, and there's, like, no exploration. And so Nintendo went, okay, all exploration. The whole thing is open world like Mario 64. Go nuts. And it's the yeah. like, fun. Nintendo, you finally listened to our prayers. Well, I also think it's, um, because it was all, not all, but, like, a lot of new developers started working on this. Right? Yeah. Like, like, young yeah. developers that probably grew up with the other games, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they're the also probably influenced by that. The movement is the most fun a Mario 3D game has ever a 3D Mario game has ever had. Honestly, I also like, want to point out what it did for the speedrunning community. Like, oh yeah, it generated percent? so much interest in speedrunning in general again. And I almost think it made a speedrunning renaissance because of right. how much I believe it's it was. still the number one the number one most popular game. I believe it still is. 
like the number one most ran game on uh freaking i mean given how accessible com. it is with how popular the switch is like i i see it but ryan like, you and i did a slow speed run that one time remember oh yeah we were like we had no idea how to actually speed run it but we yeah. tried to get through it as fast as possible uh-huh I think it, it took like so bad. two but it was or three so much hours. Fun to just race side by yeah, we did like yeah. two hours. Yeah, but it was just so much fun, and oh. the accessibility of it is a great point. Anybody can play this game, even if they've never played a two D, a three D Mario game before. It, mm -hmm. it's a good game, and it's different. It the hat mechanic is way different because there's no like traditional power ups and stuff like that, but the hat works for everything. Mm -hmm. It's like, currently the fifth most active speedrunning community. Really? What are the top four? Top four are current. The number one right now with active players is Resident Evil Three because that game like just came out and it has oh, a very yeah. fun speedrun. Yeah. It's also uh, then it's from Mario sixty four, which recently had a Redis mm -hmm. Minecraft and Celeste. Oh, Celeste! Mm. I love Celeste. Celeste is always going to be Celeste is always going to be like top ten. Oh yeah, I so. yeah. It definitely. I, I just think another reason Mario Odyssey is so good is because of all the little mini homages there are to previous games. Yeah. If you grew up with other platformers like uh, Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine, there's just so many little itty bitty details. Like there's a Mario 64 costume that just m gives Mario oh, his model. The whole Mario, Mario 64. 64 level, isn't there? Don't yeah. they recreate yeah, the like, castle? The Mushroom Kingdom level. Has Peach's castle. It's not. It's it. it's not like a one to one recreation, right? But like it's but full it's of references there. to Mario. It gives you. They have a whole low poly room. Worth it. So I have a I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. What what is the difference between Minecraft and Minecraft Bedrock Edition? Well, uh, Minecraft so Bedrock, Bedrock is, is the one that Bedrock has uh, microtransactions. <laughs> well, yeah. that, but it's also um, cross platform. Yeah, it's yeah, like it's the one version. you can play uh, with Windows, um, Xbox, PS4, Switch, Java. You can only play with other people that have Java. Wait, oh, hold on. So I'm looking at the most popular speed guns real quick. Like a lot of these make sense. There's like the Resident Evil, Getting Over It, Portal, Minecraft, yeah. Mario Sunshine, yeah. Super Metroid. It makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guess what's after Super Metroid? What? We Sports Resort. What? Okay, what? <laughs> Wait, we Sports minute. Resort is more popular of a speed game right now oh than God. both Super Mario World and Battle for Bikini Bottom and Mario. Hey, World. Shit. <laughs> I love that. We Sports right? Resort is more active than Ocarina of Time. <laughs> when oh I think speedruns, what think happened OT. to the Wii Sports speedrun? <laughs> are people are people getting paid? Was there like some <laughs> big <laughs> development that happened that I'm not aware of? What? How is the world record 16 minutes? Oh, that's all sports re world real-time world record is. What the? Fuck? There Dude, must have been some big development recently. Yeah. Like what okay, happened? I, I do. <laughs> no, this is like. Because mm. like the world. Okay, so the world record was set a month ago, but like the second place and third place and all the way down are like three plus months. This has been going for a while. Huh. Weird. Like the. I don't yeah. know, man. Maybe it's like a contest or something. <laughs> There's yeah, a lot um, of categories too, which probably mm, helps. Yeah. Yeah, I really yeah. like Odyssey. I loved it when it came out. Recently, yeah, I don't think I like it as much as some of the other 3D Marios. Like, I still definitely prefer the Galaxy games and Sunshine. Yeah. I mean, I grew up with Sunshine, so. Yeah, so the Galaxy I, Odyssey I'm is super, super solid. My one final point about Odyssey is it finally did the one thing that I've been complaining about the entire time that there's been 3D Mario. When you finish the game, there's actual post game. Like Peach is yeah. saved now. Mm -hmm. she, she's saved. Like you don't have to like boot up the game again and go. Oh well, I'm now right back before when I actually beat it. So it's like I never even and you get it. new levels there's and stuff too. Post game. Yeah, like it's the only Mario with the actual post game content, like legit. And mm -hmm. I'm really really happy about that. Yeah, it's a very, very solid Mario game. I'm excited to see if they do, like, a Mario Odyssey 2. Like there are the not-so-good... Yeah, but there are the not-so-good Mario games. Super Mario oh, Party Oh, like Super Mario bad. Party? 
It was meh. Uh, yeah. I think it's a solid base. Yeah, I do it's too, but it's fun. not like a great game. I like but, it, but the thing is, I only play it like every six months. <laughs> there's only four yeah. boards. There's only four boards and they're small. Uh huh. Like, I only play it with you, Ryan, pretty much. I played it at college a few times. And yeah, one of my like, friends got three stars on the final turn and won the game, which was insane. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's it would be worth a shot if you always had friends to play it with, and you were always yeah. getting that experience out of it. And there was more By content. By itself, <laughs> it's just mad. It's yeah. way better than the previous two Mario Party games because oh, yeah. they had the dumb the dumb car. So it's a traditional return to the main formula. But it just doesn't have enough content. And it's also, a good base. It's, it's such a good base. It's oh, it's so it's unbalanced. Also, it's War, unbalanced. Wario, Bowser, Ooh. Wario, Ooh. and Donkey Kong can all just roll so much higher than any of the other characters. Yeah, if you want to yeah. roll a six, you just pick Wario. Uh, are we talking about fucking sixes. Super Mario Party? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, this game. You know it. Like, it's better than the. It's better than the last two. That's what I said. But mm -hmm. it's not... But, like, I would argue that 8 is better. Yeah, see, a lot Which of is the sad. mini games are really fun. A I lot love of the, the mini games are really game. cool, and they make really good use of them. Yes. Um, the steak one is great. Rumble. The steak one is the best one, because it actually yeah. really relies on the motion controls. Yeah, like, I there love the mini that games. There aren't many, though. There aren't that many. That's I know. The, the boards are kind of small, too, even though that's not really something that I'm yeah. too bothered by. Yeah. It's just a lack of boards. It's also just yeah. designed to be faster. Uh, coins the online sucked. Yeah, stars oh, yeah, there's, cost there's like half no as much. I just like yeah. to pretend there is no online, pretty much. Because you, you can play, like, you don't 10 get... mini games, right? Yeah, you get to play 10 mini games per week. <laughs> Wait, they wow. rotate? Yeah, that's it. The mini games they rotate? rotate. What? They rotate. Wow. Honestly, and it's my 10 per mode week, in I Super thought. Mario Party isn't the party mode. It's the one where you go down the river. That's actually pretty fun. Yeah. That's I played that with you. That's fun. fun. Mm. But there's just not a whole lot to say about Super Mario Party. If yeah. you play like other Mario Parties, you've basically played Super Mario Party, except Super Mario Party has an actual tier list. That's yeah. the weird part about it. I, I'm I'm kind of fine with it's kind of fun, but like, I I don't know. It, it's just lacking okay. so much content. I think now, we know where this one's going. We so, don't we don't even need to like discuss. This. Anyone <laughs> who didn't have a Switch before Ultimate came out got one when it came out. The, yeah, mm. this sold the system. Honestly, this sure. might get its own tier. Like, this was console defining. Ultimate was console selling. Listen. It sold the Switch. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, I'd like to, I'd like to order these some. tiers. Ultimate goes at the top, I think. Because I think, like, top three are Ultimate, Animal Crossing, and Breath of the Wild. That's which we're going to get to. Top three, I'd say. Top three? Yeah, um, yeah we'll do a top three, because the rest we'll are... We'll do a top three lost. after. Well, yeah. Ultimate um, is just the best Smash Bros. ever. It brought back every character, and that was the massive thing. And the, and the world of light was good. Like it wasn't subspace emissary. You fucking good. out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't I, like. Okay, I, let, I didn't let, finish it. In my house. Let, let, me, let me let me let me let me bring up my gripes with Ultimate real quick. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I have a couple of gripes with Ultimate. Um, Lay it down. First one. Fuck. Oh yeah. Okay. okay so l let me preface this. So <laughs> Ultimate. I love Ultimate. Ultimate is the reason I bought a Switch. On the day that the Nintendo Switch came out, I bought a Wii U. Why would you do that? I had $200, <laughs> not $300. Why did you save your money? Because Smash Ultimate was not out yet. Oh my god. <laughs> so I bought a Wii U, and I wanted oh. to have... I wanted to be able to practice Smash 4. Because Smash oh Ultimate god. had not been announced. And then it got announced. And then it got announced, yeah. And it I got announced like, like a, about a Wii U. year later. Anyways, so my gri my my main gripe with Smash Ultimate is um so gripes multiple. Um, I completely disagree. World of Light, it for me 
a completely boring slog fest that I still have not finished because I, I am on the yeah, last I, three I fights and it's just it's just so boring. Literally, the easiest way that you could make me want to play World of Light, let me play with a part with another player. Let That'd me go fun. through yeah. it with someone else, and I yeah, would actually, legitimately yeah, enjoy it. About it. Mm. The, subs the best part of subspace for me is two player. I love subspace two player. Yeah, I played that with my yeah, brother, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah, I tend to be very forgiving with, uncle, with stuff like that. Great. Like, if I have fun with it, I won't overanalyze it. Yeah. It doesn't detract from the game at all, though. It's just like a side mode. No. The internet, the freaking uh, Smash Ultimate Online is just as bad as it was in any other game, except Brawl, which we don't talk about. Um, I played Brawl Online for one game. Was, I never Brawl touched it again. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I played. I tried to do Brawl Online once, I, and it just crashed. <laughs> I Okay, I played Brawl Online to death. <laughs> it was a nightmare. <laughs> God, I was like, I was like, I was like, ten, but it was not good. I mean, but, when um, you have to ban a character, no good. So that's barring, good. so as a single player experience, I would argue that the game is not worth touching. As a multiplayer experience, it is literally console defying. Well, that's and what <laughs> Smash Bros. is. It is a multiplayer yeah. game. At its yeah. core, for, first and foremost. So my grapes do not pertain at all to what the product is. Mm -hmm. I thought classic mode was kind of fun because of there's oh, yeah, an like incentive yeah, to the, play. Yeah, the bosses yeah, no, are cool I'll too. I'll give you that. Classic mode is okay. great. It's no adventure mode for melee, but it's pretty good. Okay, there's one thing that I, I have a gripe with the, the classic mode. You would think that okay, like they don't, they don't have an achievement. I mean, they have an achievement for getting 9.9 .9 for, like, one character, right? You would think that yeah, if you, you did, did every this. character, they would at least give you the, like, you beat 9.9 you beat .9 with every character. No, they don't. <laughs> Spencer, did you do that? Yes. Spencer <laughs> did this. Spencer did this. And I did it with every single character, even DLC. <laughs> oh, you poor man. So, some of them were a lot easier than others, though. It, it is... By far my most played Switch game. I, I probably played closer to a thousand hours. I played like 500 on my Switch, and then like, that, that's not even counting other people's Switches and like the tournaments I go to weekly at college or Same. I used to go yeah. to. Uh, but it's, it's definitely fun. the most balanced Smash game. Yes. Um, I will The characters are give amazing. That. They buffed Jigglypuff once, which is great. That's better than the entirety of Smash 4. I know. And, and a website. <laughs> Take a look at that. all yeah. of these. Take a look at all these games, and you tell me which one has the biggest community following. It's Smash Ultimate. There is, there's just so much stuff in that game. Like, like mm -hmm. and Nintendo like, actually did a really nice job listening to people this time about balances. When oh, Pichu yeah. came out, and Pichu was oh, just Pichu completely Pichu didn't deserve busted, that though. Pichu didn't they, deserve no, the nerfs he got. So, <laughs> P what Pichu, Pichu, the reason Pichu got destroyed is because. If you're a casual player trying to play against Pichu, you're you not lose. having a fun time. You lose. you lose. You just lose. Remember when they nerfed K. Rule like right after the game came out because of online? Yeah. <laughs> Is it K. Rool? Remember when everyone was like, K. Rule, the best heavy? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, really? thing is, just no the one knew how to fight heavy? him. <laughs> Remember when people saw Krom's recovery before the game release and thought he was like low tier, and then the second the game came out, it's like, oh, Krom is busted. He can zero to death like any or character the week before the game <laughs> came out. Yeah, same thing with Pichu. Like everybody's like, oh, he's Pichu. He's gonna be trash. And then the game comes out. It's like, what did they do? Literally to just <laughs> better, better Pikachu. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Pikachu is now S tier yeah, because like, Pichu about, is no longer viable. Like there are always gonna be the top picks in a tier list. But every character is fun, except Little Mac. But every character is fun. <laughs> I know people who have fun with Little Mac. The Little only Mac's time I so have... Poorly designed. The yeah. only time I have ever thrown a controller. I do... <laughs> I am I am not a rage quitter. I do not, like, freak out and throw controllers for, like, a bit. Like, the only time I have legitimately thrown a controller is... Versus a Little Mac in bracket. A, li <laughs> oh, a Little Mac... Mac who is the lamest player I have ever met. He played- he camped me out. I was playing Snake, and he camped me out with Little Mac. <laughs> you know, 
I would laugh at you, but that also happened to me the one time I competed in a Smash tournament. <laughs> uh, little Mac, Little Mac is a problem. He is. He adds nothing positive to the game. It's like, oh, are you good at not jumping? We got a character for you. Are you good at n not ever getting hit off stage? Because boy, okay. howdy. My only problem with him is the the super armor. His oh, that bothers yes. me. Yeah, was like, I, I, okay, I go in for an attack, and okay, granted, I play Yoshi, which is double jump armor and whatnot, but that's only when I'm jumping. I'm on yeah. the ground most of the time. Frame three, you are nair. Yoshi. Frame three, nair. <laughs> Frame three, nair. But like the thing about Ultimate too is that they added so many like fan requested they added characters. So many good characters. Well, the thing like, is, they they, they, Ridley Nobody's was missing. like the Nobody's main missing. thing. Um, the big one that's missing is Gino still. Like out of like the like the you know the big three. But um, what about the King of All Cosmos? <laughs> oh my God, I want the Prince in so badly. He the Prince would be up. fun. I would say both would be great. I want like, uh, Amaterasu from Okami as well. Amaterasu would really, be really, really creative. So like the paintbrush. N now that mm -hmm. Animal Crossing and Doom played so much off of each other, you think we're gonna get the Slayer in Smash? <laughs> Oh my god. Um, that was a big topic for a while, right? Yeah, that was like a leak that was false, I guess. Um, mm. But I have no idea what they're going to do now, because we have the arms rep coming. Like, we still have more content in this game, too. Yeah, it's not yeah. done. That's we part got of a whole. We got a whole wave of DLC, and I promise you, after that, they're going to start doing Echo Fighters. Really? I, swear. I, I disagree. I don't. They I think they're done. They said this they wave. said that they wouldn't. I feel like they've said that they wouldn't do a lot of things that they're doing. We got Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah, like, we've got so many like crazy. weird, unexpected characters. Yeah, they actually Piranha put Plant? instruments into the game. Like, the hype behind <laughs> and every reveal, except maybe, like, Crumb. Isabel. Really Is Isabel was one of the least hype, like, yeah. actual... Like, yeah. for me, I fucking screamed when Isabel came in because one of my oh, friends... You, you remember how... You remember how I wasn't like, there. Okay, so I remember my my, my friend TJ was literally just like, "No, no," because Isabel <laughs> was getting at it, and I'm like, "Fuck you, you see, idiot!" The best thing about the Isabel reveal was that right afterwards we got yes. the announcement for for a yeah. new horizon. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, like I, that, that was the best part of it. I've yeah. always said it was a bad Smash trailer, but a really good Animal Crossing trailer. I yeah. agree. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, there's just no other game that has the hype that Ultimate has. I mean, we could do a whole video about it. God, I'm a, just a, a tier, a tier list of Smash character reveals. Oh, oh that'd be God. fun. Yeah. yeah. But, Nairo did that like a week ago. <laughs> oh my God, Nairo did do that! I want to I wanna bring up Stage Builder really quickly in the shared content. Oh no. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dance. So if if you go on shared uh, content right now and go to the video section, uh, <laughs> there are some gems. There are some gems. Yeah, uh, I liked um I liked Mario dies. That was a good one. That's a classic. <laughs> what about Alabama um, brother? Oh, that's what about stage? Karen took Karen took the kids. That's a classic. Funny Ridley. Funny Ridley. Fun, funny Ridley. No, it's Funny Ridley. Lol. That's the name of the video. <laughs> Funny Ridley, but with a twist, and it's just the first second of Megalovania. Honestly, <laughs> oh, yeah, Sans. Yeah, can we talk about Sans? That's what I was saying. Right. Sans. Sans is in Smash. As is Cuphead. Cuphead too. That's that's true. We have Nobody a song in ever... Smash that originated from an Earthbound ROM hack. <laughs> yes. And was also uh, in Homestuck. Uh -huh. Yes, it was in Homestuck. Degrees, uh, part of Homestuck. degrees of separation. <laughs> and then Toby Fox is composing for the Pokemon Company now. Like this is so, such a weird timeline. He's he's gonna make Mother Four. I oh, I hope so bad. I I'm hope begging. so bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Like Smash Ultimate is just like the gaming community benefited so much from it. I love yeah. Ridley. I'm so glad the, they so, added him. He's one of my favorite characters. Yeah. First, first party games on the Switch have been like they have not. I would argue that they've jet. They have all been either like fucking incredible or just okay. 
I yeah. feel like that's what it's been. I don't think it's not Mario been Party's bad. bad. I don't think Mario Party's bad. I just yeah. think it's lacking. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, we don't have a, a garbage tier. It's just meh. Like yeah. it's fine. Like they, they've been they've mm-hmm. been really really consistent for the most part. Like the like the big major releases. It's very have just hit been or miss. Amazing. I'm like you either okay. knock it out of the park or you get Mario Party. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I really am super super hopeful for um freaking Paper Mario Origami oh, or yeah. Lauren learned origami <laughs> in fifth grade. It looks good. I'm yeah, I'm it, it looks really good. Gonna like the new Paper Mario, like, I think. Like a Thousand Year Door is like my go to this is my favorite game of all. Thousand Year Door is like my definitive favorite game. It mm-hmm. is my top three. Yeah, it, it's like I've wanted like, I, I literally just want that level of storytelling again. That's what I want in a Mario RPG. All right, just from what I've seen, the story looks good, but yeah. I don't know how the gameplay is going to work. The battle it system looks, looks cool. I saw this one screenshot where where like the boos that were behind you were like aggroed towards you, and the ones in front of you were like covering their faces. So like battle system looks like an actual unique RPG battle system, which makes me so hopeful. Which yeah, can totally crush me, and that's fine. But like, like yeah, it looks like it's doing some cool, unique things, and hopefully that you know plays out. Pans well. out. Yeah, yeah. So Sushi Striker. <laughs> this release at the same time on the Switch and the 3DS, I think. Yeah. Um, um, is it? I don't. Nobody has played I've it. I've not played it. I have not played it. I have it. no idea. It's like I a sushi puzzle it. action game kind of thing. I know. Moving nothing on. About it. Okay. Yeah, moving I'll on to Breath of the Wild. Uh, oh, Breath of the Wild. Yep. I play it every day. I, I play it most days. Breath of the Wild. It's fantastic. It's so good. Like Ryan, you came over after I got the Switch and you hadn't bought one yet because they were all sold out. And you played yeah. Breath of the Wild for like eight hours straight on my Switch. I was completely fascinated by it. And you were solving it, puzzles in the shrines differently than I did. And I was like, wait, how did you do it like that? Yeah, like, I, I was so impressed. The stacking boxes one, I did it yeah. completely differently. Than I was like, did. huh? I didn't even think to do it like that. I feel like there are, there's, there's, there's open world games that define like generations of like co- uh, defined console generations i would argue for like the xbox 360 era the game that defined that generation was skyrim right mm. yeah yeah skyrim Sky- skyrim's a good game don't don't get it to it it's a great yeah no game. there's so many moves but skyrim's excellent yeah but like th- this generation's like de- definitive open world game in my opinion is Definitely got to be Breath of the Wild. Oh yeah, that game, Wild everyone has a yet. different experience with that game. It's really uh-huh. cool. nothing mm-hmm. beats the yeah. first time you played through Breath of the Wild. Oh, yeah. that's but that's the thing though, because I feel like every single time I go back to it, it's not going to be as good as like the first experience. And I guess I can yeah. that can be said for most games, but because Breath of the Wild is so like exploration and discovery heavy, I feel like it's much l- like. When I go back and play Majora's Mask, I can still have a really, really good time with it. Um, but with Breath of the Wild, I feel like I have less fun playing that again compared to when I first played it than I do with Majora's Mask, like if that makes sense. Talk about mm. we're getting a Breath of the Wild too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We are getting a sequel to it. That At will some be point. fantastic. I, I lost my voice, so I couldn't scream. Yeah. For me, what makes Breath of the Wild so good? You know Mr. It's a good Mr. I have a Zelda icon. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's a good game when it's such a wildly different departure from traditional Zelda. Yes. Yet it's still so good. But people still it's love it. Very, very different from any I other Zelda we've had before. And the speedrunning of like the twenty-four hour one hundred percent speedrun is oh, yeah. <laughs> below a day now. The world record's down to like twenty-two hours, and that's they... all Koroks, all quests, any any percent, all is shrines. <laughs> any percent is one of the most. Oh, I love like physics-based glitches in video games, especially in mm-hmm. speedrunning. But Breath of the Wild's like bullshit. Like, yeah, I'm gonna freeze this thing in time, hit it twelve times with a hammer, and then ride it in. Yeah, it's okay. hilarious. And I have to look up so that the game doesn't freeze because it's trying to load stuff. Well, now what they do is they use the the two bombs in 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 tandem to yep. shoot themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I keep seeing the one where they jump on the Boko Blin's head and yeah, launch it. Yeah. Oh, so, the, so, that, that, so that's a bullet time bounce. Bullet time bounce is 
the, so there's a new thing, Spencer, the one that Spencer's talking about, they use every category now. It's literally just like, you drop one bomb, you, you see, you drop one bomb right behind you, then you jump, and you drop a bomb right beneath you, so that it's, so that it hits you when you detonate the other bomb, and they treats it like a projectile, and then flings you. It has to be the, um, you explode the, the round one and get hit by the square yes. one, because oh, it'll make, okay, yeah. uh, determine your direction. Yep. Yeah, yeah it's so... fascinating. I have watched, I have watched the entirety of two... 24 hours <laughs> Breath of the Wild 100% speedruns. Does that include all like the Koroks too? Yes, it, so it is all Amazing. shrines, all Koroks, sure. all quests, all side quests. That's hilarious, I um, love it. And all, um, all yeah. important inventory items as well. Yeah, mm. I think Breath of the Wild is fantastic because it's just so different. Like, in other Zeldas, it's like, okay, well, you go here and then you get this item that you need to do this thing. You start out you get the four tools you need to complete the entire game, and then you go free. It does not hold your hand after that. You get what you need, and you go. This is the new mm -hmm. Ocarina of Time with 3D Zelda. I feel like every 3D Zelda going forward is gonna like base, like. Oh base yeah, Zelda they've said basically. they've said this is going to be like the the, the yeah. next way we're doing it. So like, I feel like years from now we're gonna look back at Breath of the Wild and be like, this was a really good start. I don't, I don't know, like, how well it's gonna hold up with, like, whatever they go for next. But, yeah, like, right true. now, it is an amazing game. I think my biggest flaws with it are, like, the lacking dungeons. Because one of my favorite aspects of the series is, like, the themed dungeons and, like, exploring those. Um, I, th I thought the, the uh, Divine Beasts were good, but they didn't really, you know, fill that void. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the DLC felt, like, was a welcome addition. DLC breaking was really weapons. cool. I didn't really have a problem with the breaking weapons. I feel, I have a problem with um I have a problem with how quickly they break. I think that's all mm, that I feel a problem with. Yeah. Especially, especially the rarer mm. ones. It's like I'll I'll ha I literally will have like a full inventory of like really rare weapons and I don't want to use any of them because they're all good. Yeah, them. same. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. Just, yeah. That, that is a, a problem with it, the game is like the the difficulty like okay. So when you get to the end of the game and you're saving all your weapons because of that. You are so prepared. The, you know this is the final boss, so it's like, mm -hmm. oh, I might as well use them now, and you just easily defeat them. The game gets so much There's easier no challenge as you go on. Point. Yeah. Uh, um, my, my my biggest issue with the game really is the the progression of difficulty. It doesn't. It always gets mm. easier. It never gets. It never yeah, scales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my only issue with it. They really. try to scale the enemies, but like it, it's the same strategy. Just they just Master take more Quest hits. Master Quest is really cool. I really liked Master Mode because of that. It felt like a welcome challenge. I didn't like Master Mode all that much. I don't like the uh, regenerating HP. I think that's really dumb and just artificially increases the challenge. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Have you all seen the uh, what's it called? Um, what's that? I it's the island where all of your items. get even tide? Yeah, even tide island. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, 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 two neat things about that island: the speedrun strat for it is literally you just throw all of your items on, like the items you need to beat it quickly, onto the island, and then you land on it, and you can pick them. Up. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's but yeah, you the... do not, you do not get them back at the end of the, which is oh. funny. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So you can't do things that you like, need. Mm -hmm. So you just have to like, okay, these are the things I'm going to just use on the. And then I'm going to use them. And the other fun thing is I watched a video that is about beating Eventide Island without ever touching the ground. Oh my god, There's so many amazing. little challenges. Like, I remember before Master Mode came out, I was like, I'm going to I'm gonna make myself suffer. I'm not going to wear any armor, and I'm only going to heal by sleeping. It was hard. That sounds hard. I started a Master Mode run only using the Tingle costume. How did it go? Was that the um, one where you got the clip of, of all the the guardians shooting at you? Oh, I got frame trapped by the guardians. No, that was in the main game. I know that was that in is. the um. I know where you're talking about. That was yeah. That was in like the ma Okay, the mazes in that game were. Yes. I that was, those that was like my favorite part of the game. I think I loved the mazes. Those but that giant was in the mazes ma yeah. are so fun. That was those in the island so... maze, like the the basement the of the really, island really maze with one. all the guardians. Yeah, I got like frame trapped and they just kept shooting me around. But it's like the fact that they could build those like 
they they can do everything. They do the if there was more content like those mazes that were like dungeons, it would be a, it would be like a perfect best Zelda game for me. Yeah, that's one of my main issues with the game is that I feel like it's lacking variety in some areas. Like I don't think there's, there's not a ton of enemy variety. Pretty much yeah. any cool thing leads to a Korok or a shrine. Yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't mind it leading to a shrine. I did mind it leading to a Korok. Yeah. I love it's the Koroks, just though. such a big yeah. game, though. It has so much content. I just wish that, like... I wish they had, like, a thing where they would just, like... Take a bunch of the shrines, like, five shrines, and just make a dungeon. Yeah. Like, yeah. they could have definitely had, like... 12 Five, dungeons instead yeah. of 120 shrines exactly yeah. just like yeah. th take the thematically similar ones and just have like your puzzle dungeon this is great i love it do you want to know why mm -hmm. they didn't do that though because asset creation no because it's it's a portable game huh. they, they wanted to make it like pick up and play that makes you sense. know that yeah. makes i mean a lot actually of sense. i'm not actually you know now that i think of it it was originally a wii u game yeah, it was. Yeah, I, so, so mm, I have maybe equal, I have equally mm, played both didn't. versions. I mean, it makes sense because they did that with Odyssey too, with like the moons, like making them like really quick to get. Um, I think that's just a design philosophy. Maybe, thing. Yeah, maybe it doesn't have to do with like the portability of the Switch. Now that I think of it, maybe it did for Odyssey, the... but Breath of the Wild was a Wii U game. Like I don't know when in development the shrines came into play. I think um, I, th I, I think I think that was um, decently early on. Okay. Pick up and pick up and play has been like a big part of Nintendo. Like from I would say about halfway through Wii U on, pick up and pick up and play ability is like a big deal for Nintendo's first party mm -hmm. games. Yeah. yeah. I've noticed that. But like I have so many memories of Breath of the Wild. Like so many like Insane. different parts of that game, like I'm just like, oh my god, I remember that. Like that was so it's cool just when like so that first charming. happened. I remember um, the first, okay, you know that, that first skull with the vocal blends? Yeah. I remember, like, I was basically playing Metal Gear yeah. when, when, I was, when I was trying to attack the enemies there. It was there so just, fun. There's just so many moments in the game where it's just like, oh, what is that? That is so cool. The first and time I happening. saw the Guardian that moved on its legs, I almost peed. Right after the Great Plateau, I immediately went into that tower, like right in the middle of Hyrule Field with all the oh, Guardians. The tower. Same. Yeah. The tower. <laughs> okay. I spent like I, the, thirty minutes trying to climb it. It dude, was hilarious. Dude, it was, there was a thunderstorm going on when I tried it. <laughs> the fucking the first time I saw the uh, the freaking you know the dragon the, like giant sky dragon. Yeah. 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 Those things. I was like, oh wow, that's cool. I and then they, if, yeah. they just give them like material. It's kind of disappointing. But, but yeah, but like this, even as like a visual the thing, the spectacle of it, the spectacle of it, I was like, this is a video game. <laughs> it scared me the first time I saw them because I was like, fuck, do I have to fight that? I can't. Fight that. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what I thought. I was like, I I stayed away from it for a while until I got better gear, and then I realized, oh, it's friendly, kind of. Yeah, yeah. one of my favorite things was like having all these problems like oh i need to manage my cold i need to not get shocked and then you get the armors for it and it's like well now i'm unstoppable and it hmm, feels i need great. to i need to find a way to climb up this hot fire volcano oh my gosh okay i didn't know you could get the uh the the met the potion mm -hmm. before you went up so <laughs> i, I ran up either. there Spencer, I didn't either <laughs> have you seen the terminal montage video where he yeah and yes. just yeah yeah eating the food <laughs> That's that's what Spencer did. Spencer actually I did actually that. I actually just did it. <laughs> I just kept on eating the food and and then oh I my God. and I then I, I, I ran too. I ran to the shop because every shop had armor, so I was like, they've got to have some armor here. So I got that, and then mm -hmm. I saw the guy. And I was like, oh, do you want to buy a potion? Oh man, <laughs> yeah. It's hilarious to me that I had such a similar experience because I just like. I marched my way to the mountain in the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> and so what happened is I discovered the path up to up to the mountain after I had already gotten there. And I was like, oh, okay. But that's the thing, you can like approach things from any direction. And that's why it's such a good open world game. The movement is yeah. great. The paraglider, like the pa if, if there's a Zelda 3D Zelda game in the future that doesn't have the paraglider, then it's just gonna be a bad game. <laughs> Paraglider is so good. Like that combined with the climbing 
It just, yeah. it's just perfect. It's yeah. Being able to climb anything was cool, mm -hmm. unless but, it rained, and then it yeah. was less. Yeah. Cool. But like, I remember like, like uh, getting up to the final tower and just being so disappointed that I had filled out the map because I just didn't want it to like be done. Yeah, being able to climb things is the best part of the game for me. Mm -hmm. Also, Hyrule Castle is one of the best dungeons in the series, actually. Like, it's not a it's traditional a dungeon, dungeon, but it's huge, it's so fun to explore. Yeah, it's oh, there's so a many different ways to approach it. Yeah. Since I half beat the game twice, I never got there. I remember I was baffled when I beat that big skeleton, and then mm -hmm. the reward for it was the Hylian shield. Because you don't expect to get, like, the big da-da-da-da jingle, like, in a normal setting. And you just uh -huh. get yeah. this unbreakable shield, and it's great. It's not unbreakable. It can break, but you can buy yeah. It's mostly ones. unbreakable. It has it's a lot normal. of durability. Same thing as the Master Sword, right? It just comes back, I thought? No, you have to buy a new one no. when you upgrade oh, Terry Town. Yeah, it's disappointing. Yeah, but the but. Master Sword, the Hylian Shield, and the Paraglider are just like... The moments when you get those items are just... Nothing beats that. Yeah. I never got the, the Hylian Shield. <laughs> you, you never you did? Know, I, no, my I you never found it? My number... My by far number one ask for Breath of the Wild 2... A Claw Shot. Yes. Oh, That'd be amazing. Really? Yeah, we need a claw shot. So Breath good. of the Wild 2 is supposed to be darker than Majora's Mask, according to Onuma, and that really excites what? me because Majora's so Mask the, is my yes, favorite Zelda. My, my I don't know. <laughs> I mean, did you watch? Did you go? Did y'all watch that trailer? I mean, like, I don't. I don't think it's going to be as dark as Majora's He's Mask just because. Ganon, fucking Raisin Ganon. <laughs> I remember when that trailer first came out. I went, "Oh, this is Zelda." And Max and Spencer were like, it's not Zelda, and then it was Zelda. <laughs> I know, I saw, I saw, like, the torch, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> so, like, yeah, Maj Majora's on. Mask is, like, themed around, it, like, Majora's Mask is themed about life. That's, like, the whole theme of the game. It's literally just, like, th this is a, this is a macrocosm of life, and, like, all the, all the NPCs and people you talk to, it's all stages of life. There's kids, there's, like, lovers falling in love, there's, like people in the end of their life but it's like mm -hmm. and then they they all then it's then the whole the moon is like this whole big like um metaphor for like oh everyone's gonna die anyway yeah oh yeah very very dark game and it's like and then you get then so that's that's like a thematically dark game and then you get like fucking breath of the wild 2 just looks like scary but the, but then you get like twilight Ooh. princess which is just literally dark yeah <laughs> It doesn't embrace any dark themes. It's literally just a visually dark Zelda game. There's no color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I love, I love, love, I love it. Don't get me wrong. It's, that it's not a dark game. It's not dark in the same sense, but it definitely no. is a dark no. game. Because like, yeah. like, when when the Twilight comes, it, they're essentially... They're, it, they're basically on the brink of death, essentially. Like, yeah. they're, they're, they're spirits at that point. Mm -hmm. But like I feel, I feel like that that game embraces the concept of an right. You Whereas, kinda, what did you say? Yeah, you kinda, that game embraces the concept of an afterlife. Majora's Mask is like about mortality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the thing about Majora's Mask. True, true. Like oh God, uh, the, the 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 like the I guess like the darkest part of Majora's Mask is definitely um. On like the third day, you can go to the ranch, and like the older sister to Romani, like drugs her pretty much, so she won't have to like yeah. experience the apocalypse. Or she gives her like the the yeah. adult alcoholic milk. Yeah. So mm -hmm. she won't have she, to like. Just so yeah. she won't have to actually go through it. Yeah. Yeah. Like that There's... kind of stuff, like you wouldn't expect to be in a Zelda game, and I'm not sure if Breath of the Wild Two is gonna like match that in the same sense. I mean... It, it's I mean, like, we don't know it, anything about it, but like, I don't know, like thematically, I don't know how it can be like. I feel like whatever it is, it's going to blow our expectations up. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the mm -hmm. only thing I'm concerned about is like if they reuse the map because we've already explored the map. Yeah, because the whole thing about the game was exploration. That's my only yes. concern. I hope that this is. I feel like because I, I honestly, I would be totally fine if the game and it was just like super dungeon focused. Mm -hmm. I kind of want it to be like under Hyrule, like in the catacombs or something. Kind of, yeah. I would like that. That'd be kind of sweet. Like, as long as they don't fully re reuse the map. 
Let's let's finish talking about Zelda and start talking about Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there was just one more thing I wanted to mention about Breath of the Wild. Um, I think the the final Ganon phase was very disappointing. Yes. Like, I, re- I remember beating that and like actually saying like that's it. <laughs> all okay. All the bosses in in the game were just not. Yeah, they were fun to fight, <laughs> but like thematically, they were all the same. Yeah. Fire Ganon. I would not say like Water Ganon. Ele- electric was Asshole really hard. Like, I would say, like compared to like like compare I that to like the and... compare that to like the boss phases in um Wind Waker, where you go through like oh. you go through Puppet Ganon, and then you get like the final confrontation is literally yeah. Ganon wielding two swords, yeah. fighting you while Zelda pot shots at him from a distance. Well, that yeah. is great. Sea is the like, coolest. Like caving in around you, like that is so cool. That, and there's like, the, and it's like this that and then, then you that have like scene with like the water. The oh, I love that. It's so good. I get ch- I get chills thinking about that. And it's fucking Wind Waker. It's like toony ass. God, did, y- did y'all ever hear about how much people t- like when when um uh when Wind Waker was revealed and everyone was like, this game looks yeah. like shit. <laughs> I was remember so that. upset. Yeah. It was because of that tech demo that they had for the GameCube. Everyone was that like, yeah, or it's like Ocarina, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, everyone was like, where's Ocarina 3? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, guess what, bitch? This is better. This, I would argue it and is. And it was. I feel like Wind Waker ages very well. I feel oh, yeah. Ocarina has a lot yeah. of glaring issues that do not age well. It pioneered... A, like a, literally a genre don't get me wrong but like mm. it does oh, yeah. not age as well as wind waker does i'd say yeah yeah but all that and also i grew up with wind waker i didn't mm-hmm. grow Same. up with ocarina i grew up with both because i had the gamecube um master quest oh uh, i have the uh collector's combo. edition nice i had it but i never played it because it, my uncle was playing it at the time and i didn't want to like and i was dumb child brain and didn't understand how things work save files yeah i was like i can't he has his game on there i can't do it <laughs> uh so yeah Breath of the Wild is an amazing game link's awakening so yeah let's uh, talk about good. zelda pretty good pretty good DX version on, on my 3DS. It's literally comes. like the same game. Okay. Well, yeah. then I played the game. It's <laughs> good. It's it's oh, really wait, good. Um, yeah, they the didn't too. fix anything. They certainly didn't fix any of the well, problems well, they, the original they did, one had. They did fix some of the problems. Um, mainly the sword and shield are permanently equipped, which was a big problem for me because I played. I didn't finish the original Link's Awakening. I played it on the 3DS, but like constantly switching like, inventory to have the shield equipped. Um, because you can only have two items equipped at a time in the original, but now you can have the sword, shield, and then two other items, which is a very, very big change. Yeah, the octo-directional movement, though, like, it not actually being fully analog kind of irked me. Um, Mm -hmm. did you play it? Yeah. Oh, you did? Okay. Um, Yeah, I I liked it. I, I had a problem with the movement at first, but then I got used to it. I did not mess with the dungeon creator at all. I just did not care about that. Yeah. But other than that, it's pretty much Link's Awakening. Yeah, I would say I would say worth. I would put it in worth a. Sh- it's um, very good. I didn't finish want- it. I'm not 2D- really a big 2D Zelda fan for the most part. I I definitely prefer 3D Zelda, and Link's Awakening didn't really do a ton for me, but it was it was enjoyable for the most part. I enjoyed really- it. It made me want a Zelda 2 remake. <laughs> I, I would love a Zelda 2 remake. People mm. shit on that game, but it's like, it's RPG Zelda. Like, holy shit. They could do so many cool things. Adventure of Link is just, it's good. I liked it. It's <laughs> very don't... hard to decide. The thing is, it's it's a remake. It doesn't bring anything new to the table. It's it looks very, very good, nice. And it looks oh, yeah. great. I'm trying to think if I liked it more than Fire Emblem, because that's kind of like... What, what is uh-huh, what is yeah. the best game and worth a shot? Probably Fire Emblem, uh, in my opinion. I don't know. And I'm trying to think if I like Link's Awakening more than Fire Emblem. Um, the one thing that Link's Awakening HD I think I do. did was I think the I Dungeon do. Maker. It had the Dungeon Maker. So that was pretty neat. Was it good? Mm, no. I liked the Dungeon Maker. It was fun, but it 
didn't have a whole lot to it. You could you only know, mix do... parts of like dungeons in the game. Like you couldn't make your own rooms. Yeah, oh, okay. Rooms so it sucked. Down in the game. <laughs> and there yeah, weren't I a didn't whole mess lot of extra it. things. Like Dampe would go, oh, here's another puzzle piece for you. And mm -hmm. That would be it. Didn't they add some like heart containers? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's more secret seashells. There used to be 20, now there's 50. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I hated searching for those. Oh, now there's 30 mm. more of them. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I think it's pretty decent. Nothing, like, game-changing. But then again, I'm not really a big 2D Zelda fan for the most part. That's um, fair. So, do, do we think, like, Highly Recommended is good? We're not, like, these aren't necessarily ordered, but, like... If we I'd were put to it in worth them, a shot. I had fun with it. Worth a shot. Uh, uh, you know what? But yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Like, I think that and Fire Emblem are, like, on the same level for me. I think it would probably be, like, the entry level. The, like, top of worth a shot if it were ordered. Yeah, like, that and Fire Emblem. Because I refuse. <laughs> it, it would yeah. take way too- we've already spent a lot of time. It's so close like, to getting this. highly recommended. It just doesn't have enough new stuff. Yeah. Okay, um, I've played so, I've played the original World Ends. I think so, this is the like, pretty I'm much the same thing. It was a really good game. Yeah, I think I've it's like the same thing. I am qualified to speak on this because I have played through the original. Mm -hmm. It is highly recommended. I've heard great I things agree. about it. I've played the original as well. It's really good. It it's just like just a it's a very unique battle system. Like, I cannot think of a single other game that, like, it's got a great story, great it's characters. very stylish. Amazing art style, which is completely refined in the... It does the same, it does the same thing for uh, the Switch version of Phoenix Wright that it does to the original. It just takes, like, pixel art and gives it a nice, chic, well-done yeah. aesthetic. I'm not sure how it plays, though, compared to the original, because wasn't the original touchscreen... I've heard that it plays great. That's okay. that's all that I've heard about it. Okay. I have heard that it is like the definitive. Going to play it, play this version mm -hmm. from like d people oh, who are like hard super great. hardcore. All right. Uh, so Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp Fe Encore. I've never played it. I I've heard good things about it. It's like Persona kind of. I mean, I know it's like Shimmer. Well, yeah, but they're fire. Persona, Persona is a spinoff. Isn't it about singing and being a pop star? It's kind of, no, yeah. It, it's about like people losing their talent or like their drive for a motivation. Oh me? <laughs> Guys, I think I gotta head out. It's been like three hours. Yeah. And I actually don't have anything else to say yeah. about the last four games. Okay. It's been real good, but I must go. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Right. I have yeah. nothing to say about Sekiro Shadows Dice twice. <laughs> That's not on the Switch. No, no, no. See, this is an elaborate ruse, an elaborate joke on my end. You shall see. Oh, no. The machinations. Right, so yeah, none of us have played this game. It looks cool. Um, That's all we have to say about it. Yeah. It looks cool. That's I cool. mean, I played Persona 5. <laughs> Does that count? Yeah. <laughs> I played Persona 4. And Shin Megami Tensei 4. <laughs> Um, okay, so we should rank Xenoblade 2 before Xenoblade 2 Torna. Uh, I know Torna is a uh, DLC expansion, but it was also sold at retail as a separate game. Really? So I, I think I think it's worth separating these two. So I played mm. Xenoblade 2. I never played any of them. Okay. So I pl I played I played like seven hours of Xenoblade 2, and it did not hurt me at all whatsoever. So I'm going to be the antithesis anyone who likes it because okay. i did not enjoy this game i really like this game Ye. i wasn't super gripped until the end of chapter three and then everything kind of took off from there um i i have like almost 200 hours into this game there's a lot of stuff to do in the post game the new game plus is really cool because you can get unique blades that you couldn't get in the um you know your first playthrough the DLC is pretty good. There's like a challenge mode that was fun. Uh, you can get Shulk and Fiora as Blades, which is kind of weird, but I mean, it's, that, it's is, fine. that is pretty weird. Yeah, I would put it in highly recommended. I don't think it's 
console defining. It's definitely not a game for everybody. But it does a lot of things really- there's a lot of stuff I don't like about this game. I'm not a big fan of a lot of like the- Like, th there's a lot of like mechanics in there that's- that are just like really dumb like the field skills. They just like lock you out of certain areas if you don't have the correct field skills. Um, it's also a gotcha game. That's the thing, because, like, you'd have to get certain blades to access the field skills. Like, there's this one door at the end of the game that's pretty notorious, because you need, like, like, Thunder level 3 and some other stuff. And at that point in the game, I only had, like, a few Thunder blades, and none of them had, like, any of the requirements. So I had to, like, grind and, you know, just use the gotcha mechanics and just hope I got the right blades that I needed. And it took a few hours and it was really, really annoying because, like, I needed to open that door to progress in the story. Um, so that kind of stuff bothers me, but I love the battle system. Story was pretty alright. I don't think it's as good as the first games, but, like, the locations are really, really cool. The music is amazing. Uh, I like the characters for the most part. Just very solid RPG. It does a lot of things really, really well. It does a lot of things pretty poorly. But I think as a complete package, it was... Very, very good. Which, what would you say is better, like content-wise, the between the two versions? Uh, between the two Xenoblade games. One and Two. No, 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 uh, no, no. Two and then Torna. Torna is a lot shorter. It has a completely different cast of characters. It has a completely different continent to explore. There's new music, um, but it pretty much details one of the main events that happened before Xenoblade 2 that kind of set everything into motion. Hmm. Um, so it's a, it's like a like a prologue kind of thing. Um, Interesting. But it's a lot shorter. And it is very, very meh. <laughs> oh. Well, I don't, I don't know about meh. I think quality-wise it was fine. Um, well, actually, the thing about Torna is that it was very, very grindy. Because you needed to complete a ton of side quests to progress in the story, and it completely killed the pace. The pacing was very, very bad. But, like, quality-wise, in terms of, like... The battle system was, like, kind of redone from Xenoblade 2, and I think the battle system is probably a little bit better than Xenoblade 2. Um, the music was excellent. It was definitely a lot smaller. But like the pacing was like really, really bad from what I remember. So I don't know if I'd put it like on the same level as Worth a Shot because those are like full games. This is just a DLC expansion. Um, I think mm. I put like maybe like 15 hours into it. It's pretty. It is pretty short. Wow, 15 hours. 15, and you beat 15, it? 15 to really 15 short. to 20 into Xenoblade and you, 2. And 20. they market this as a full. That's the, yeah. That's the thing. It's weird. Like I don't really understand why it had a retail release. Because why would you play this before Xenoblade 2? Because it spoils a ton of stuff. Mm. Meanwhile, the next game was spoiled by Ultimate. <laughs> yeah. So do you have any like anything else to say about Xenoblade 2? Because like, I I it just like it's I'll not for everybody. It, I'm it's gonna, not I'm for everybody. I'm going to give it another shot. Like mm -hmm. when I'm at a point where like I'm looking for something to play, because like I have such an RPG backlog at this point. Yeah. Like I'm gonna play through the entire Persona series. <laughs> Shin Megami Tensei series. I'm gonna play through. I still haven't even played Paper Mario 64. The 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 game that came before my favorite game of all time. It's like it's one of those games that it's like I'll get to it when I am out of anything else. <laughs> yeah, and there's like a lot of tropey stuff in Xenoblade 2 that I don't like. Some of the voice yeah. acting can be kind of bad at points. <laughs> um, but for the most part, pretty good. I really liked it. So, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition is weird because it's not out yet, but from what we know, it's like the base game is pretty much exactly the same as the original, just with like some quality of life changes and like improved graphics and stuff. So I, I think it's fair to say like if you play the original, you'll definitely enjoy the remake. Mm -hmm. And it adds like the epilogue stuff too, which I really don't know a ton about, aside that like it's like a it's like a different story or it, it, it takes place like yeah. after the events of the main game and it has like new characters and stuff interesting it includes like a like the bionic shoulder was like 
done oh, yeah. in the original game. Like, it was cut content. Um, and they brought they it back, really which is cool. I love Xenoblade Chronicles is like in my top three favorite games. Um, I don't, I don't know where to put it. Like, has anybody else played it? I have. Not. I I played the original. Okay. I played. And I enjoyed it a lot, but it's I've... also not out yet, and that's kind of my only. Like, that's problem. that's the thing, but it's also like pretty much the exact same thing. Yeah. Like yeah, the only th like, like if you've played the original, then. Like, you kind of yeah, know what you're getting. That's kind of why I'm in the same boat where, in regards to, like, um, it, it feels like it's in the same boat as the Mystery Dungeon or Reroll. Like, mm, yeah, if it's so yeah. similar, if, like, it, not to say that that makes the game not good and that I want to not, like, I don't need to play it. But, like, if you haven't but, played it. But if you haven't played it, then I would highly recommend it. Like, I, I don't know. I'm not good with opinions. My opinions on anything are definitely void because my opinions genuinely, genuinely, they're all garbage. <laughs> not gonna lie. Like, I kind of want to argue the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition to be in console defining because I feel like that's where it's, it's de that's definitely where it's going to end up for me when it comes out because I love the original so, so much. Um, all the changes that they're making to the base game. Like improving the maps, improving the quest system. Like they're the only thing I don't really like about the base game, like they're redoing the soundtrack, which is really cool. Like they're re-recording everything. I'm not really a big fan of one of the new remixes, but other than that, everything sounds amazing. Um, like I would argue the original Xenoblade Chronicles or the definitive edition to be in console defining. But then again, it isn't out yet. And it's like, I mean, it's something, it's an opinion that will probably change once it's out. Yeah, plus I don't really know what, like, the epilogue stuff is going to be. Like, I've only seen a little yeah. gameplay of that. I don't know how long it is, how in-depth it is. But. Yeah, and, who, and don't even know if it would even be good. We don't know. Yeah, I, I, I w personally, I would put it in console defining, but I don't really know what everybody else thinks. I'm just... I haven't I played know. enough of have an opinion on it. I think it does just... most things better than Xenoblade 2. I think Xenoblade 2 has, like, a better battle system. Like, they're different battle systems, but I, I kind of enjoyed Xenoblade 2's battles a little bit more. That's, just, that's not to say that the original doesn't have a good battle system, because it does. Mm -hmm. But, like, everything about the original Xenoblade Chronicles, I feel like, is better than 2. In my opinion. I don't know. My, my opinion is mostly just, like... It's, like I said before, it's like in the same boat as Reroll and Mystery Dungeon. As yeah. A remake that does improve on a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. but it's also just not, like, a new game that's, like, I don't know. Yeah, but, like, we also like, have Mario Kart that... 8 Deluxe at the top as well. I, I don't know. I didn't say to put it up there, so I'm, I'm indifferent. Okay. Would anybody be opposed if I put it up there? I'm well, opposed. I'm, I mean, I... From, like, what you've heard I, of the game. Yeah, what I've heard of it. And also, I mean, granted, I didn't get far in X, but, like, if, assuming the combat is extremely similar to how X does it, then I'll, I'll probably enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, like, I, it's I, I haven't played the, X, but... I'd say it's probably the best of those remakes that are that high up. Yeah. Probably. I don't know. Probably. Again, I, from not, what I've... It's not out yet. I don't know. Like, I, like, if this was any other game, I wouldn't be ranking it, but this is, like, pretty much... It's just Xenoblade with a new coat of paint, and Xenoblade mm -hmm. is already amazing, so... You can't like, argue that. I'm... Ryan time. Uh-huh. God. It's Ryan time. Ryan is my favorite. My favorite character. Slime time long. Alright, last game. Has anybody played Yoshi? No, 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 no. Has anyone played? This is Hero Shadows Die Twice. What do you think? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I love- Okay, that, yes, that is a good meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've seen- I've seen- yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. <laughs> I have sadly played this game. You have? Sadly, huh? Oh, you have, huh? Not you a good Yoshi sadly. game. If I, I could give- if I could make a tier below <laughs> meh, I would <laughs> for this game. This so is- like the bottom of This is not- 
This is not only the worst Yoshi game, <laughs> and I and that's including Yoshi's New Island, which is oh. which is very close to being as bad. This Yoshi's is, New Island wasn't like terrible; it just didn't do anything outstanding. Yeah. The, so my issue and it was with this, my my issue with this game is that it has it is in my opinion the weakest soundtrack that has ever been in a Mario or Mario spin. -off. It is, like, hard to listen to at times. Liter legitimately hard to listen to. Art style is charming. It's cute. I get it. But, like, you can literally flutter jump infinitely. You can just fly oh. across the level and not play oh. the game. Yeah, that's not a... That's not a... Did you play, a, um... Did you play Woolly, uh, Woolly World at all? I did play Woolly World. I did. And guess what? I loved that game. I loved it. I, I didn't finish it, but I like again. I'm not really big into 2D platformers, but I liked it. I, I would say Yoshi's. Yeah, Yoshi's uh, Crafted World took everything aesthetically that Woolly World did right and improved upon it, and it took everything that Woolly World did right, um. Gameplay-wise, and threw it in the threw it in the trash. <laughs> threw it in the threw it in the garbage disposal, blended it up, and then threw it in the dumpster. Yeah, game not good. Yeah, like everything yeah. I heard about that game after it came out, like like after it came out, like there was just like no fanfare. Yeah, I I played this oh in the God. I played this in the lounge at my school. I played through. God, I, I played through at least like three or four boss fights, and I was like, "This is bad." I watched someone play it, and the music made me want to run into a wall. <laughs> yeah, it, it it legitimately it just it just it kind of like to an extent. I feel like it's just shitting on a very good... yeah. Unfortunately, we'll get a we'll get a. It sold well, so we'll get another one, but... Uh... I should just go back to, like, original Yoshi's Island. Like, remake Yoshi's Island. Streaming Mario in HD. Yeah. Okay, but, like, what if they- what if we got, like... What if I were to purchase uh, fast food disguise of... <laughs> what- what if they were to make a, like, a 3D, like, open Yoshi game? So, Mario, but Yoshi. That'll so, be yeah. using like the uh, the Yoshi gameplay from Odyssey. Yeah, or and like give us like the, give us like give us Yo just make a a like straight up Yoshi spinoff 3D like third person platform with yeah. and give us also give us the Splatoon gyro aiming. <laughs> Splatoon gyro aiming for the egg. 100%. Yoshi Safari HD. Also, Ugh. like Yoshi I does his taxes finally HD. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Can we can we get Pokemon Snap on the Switch, please? People have been clamoring for that game for such a long yeah, can we get it on the Wii U? <laughs> Gosh. I mean that's kind Ugh. of the level we're going for at this point. I'd take it. <laughs> so yeah, Just I think this is a pretty good list. Out the Wii U. Are we Just Dance made it live. Let's do our top three. Let's let's organize top three. I mean, I think we already know what top three. Well, Do we put Breath of the Wild? Uh, I think it, I would it should go like Smash, Breath of the Wild, Animal Crossing. I would agree. I, I think mean, Smash has to be number one just because it's Smash. I've, I am the one wow. person here who's never played it, so I am not. Everything else is in order. That would take way too much. We we probably could do that, but like it, we've been already been at this for like three hours. Yeah. Well, and this is nowhere near as bad as when we did the Animal Crossing. Oh, villagers. oh, God. So well, I this think has more to discuss. Dead. Like we're just going off of their designs. Yeah, that's true. There's way more discussion here. But yeah, that's the tier list. Um, for any of the games we haven't played, if you've played them, let us know how they are in the comments. If you've played Cooking Mama, let us know how it is. I refuse and... to act get that game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. uh... That's gonna do it. So hopefully everybody enjoyed this, and everybody's nice in the comments. And have don't a, yell have at us for hating Yoshi. Oh. Uh, 
<laughs> I don't hate Yoshi. We all hated Sekiro Shadow Stage twice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>